Bon Jour No. Good evening, good evening. If you see me looking in different directions tonight, it's because I've had a little rejig and I've got the chat there instead of down here tonight. So we'll see how it goes. If you see me kind of looking off there, it's because I'm I'm live, I'm behind myself. I can see myself behind me. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, let me just, I can see like little flashy lines. So I'm assuming the audio is all good. So give me a big old thumbs up. Uh, let me know the audio is cool. Uh, Danny, hello Danny, Ross, uh, Trevor, Pat, Al Ho, Darren, Mark S H, Ross, cheers, Rossy B. How are we all? Happy Sunday, Sunday fun day. It's daiquiri day, isn't it? We're starting off. I'm starting off with uh, an Appleton 12-year-old daiquiri. And for the newbies joining me, or the non, sorry, not newbies, the non. Uh, leg non-legends, non-legends that are not in my Discord community. Uh, 
Yeah, it looks, we've had another delivery. It looks a little bit different again. Now don't worry, you don't have to go. We're not gonna be using all these new rums and all that sort of stuff. Uh, a lot of it's felt personal, uh, but a lot of it is the journey we will go down uh, over the next sort of few months or so. We'll be working up to it. So the new stuff, you can see like all the DMF stuff has gone. Um, that will go over to the Drink Stuff Studio along with the JJ Whitley Vodkas along with the Whitley Neil Gins. Uh, so all that will start featuring on the Drink Stuff channel very soon. Instead, I've got what I would class as proper, proper spiced rums here. And a, and a, a couple, maybe not so proper spiced rums, but really, really tasty spiced rums. So uh, that's sort of uh, dedicated spiced rummage now or flavoured rummage along with i couldn't figure out where else to put that so the normal duppy share is down there um but everything else up there is proper proper rum and the chairman's reserve lives the spiced lives up in there as well because that is probably although it's a bit harsh to black tears that is probably like the two go-to and oh and and above it's quite harsh actually but i was gonna say it's the prop it's the only proper spiced rum that i've got uh behind the bar but sorry so uh, to just quickly run you through very very quickly oh what we're doing today uh, by the way we're going to be doing get ahead of myself you know we're going to be doing three cocktails from georgie radev's uh get my face out of the way it was focusing uh let's get tropical book uh so this is it's one of my favorite uh, cocktail books it's more so i love smuggler's cove uh, you know smuggler's cove is kind of the daddy if we're talking about cocktail books it's right there now lives it lives there and you know what uh that one's really good as well we'll get onto that one but for fun cocktails this kind of nails it. it's kind of go you know it's mojitos and uh daiquiris and all that sort of stuff in there but we've got we've got three fun what i would call tropical drinks tonight not tiki just tropical fun we'll get, we'll get on to that that's what we're doing tonight i've got little screenshots blah 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 you can see the recipes uh so we'll do that i'll i'll um i'll go through the chat in a minute i can see it all piling in but just just for the new bit in ignore if for those eagle eyes ignore the two plantations behind there uh that's very old stock i've just got them from there they're just behind the bar sort of thing so it's a 2005 guyana and 2002 barbados i thought i had the trinidad as well 2003 trinidad but i can't uh, can't find that so they're just tiny tiny bits of personal consumption they're not new they just come behind the bar coming along we've now got goslings uh black seal so it's the black kind of dark rum uh we've had a little delivery of el dorado 12 ed12 uh, which is one of my favourite rums. I'll give you my five all-time favourite rums in a second. Uh, so ED12. I've got Angostura, seven-year-old, and Angostura 1919, so from Trinidad, Trinidadian rums. Uh, we've added to... I didn't see the point in the Appleton eight-year-old. It was out of stock anyway, but I didn't see the point. I've got uh, Appleton 12-year-old, uh, which is stunning. I've got Veritas there, or for you, for those of you across the, the tougher side of the water, uh, Prohibitas. I don't know why. I don't know why it's called different, but I don't know. It's Veritas everywhere else except for the US and uh, Canada, uh, and that is uh, it's done by uh, Mr. Seal himself. But it's a blend of uh, Foursquare and um, uh, uh, who's the other one? I forget who it is. Um, it's Foursquare and someone else, isn't it? I was going to say Worthy Park. I forget who it is now. Foursquare, Foursquare, Hamden. Sorry, Hamden. I don't know why I got Worthy Park in my head then. So uh, yeah, coffee and pot still blend. Really, really good kind of. For those of you old enough to remember, 10, if any of you remember 10 cane rum, so T-E-N, 10 cane rum, that's kind of where I'd put that. 10 cane is no longer uh, a Trinidadian rum, but it was a really good sort of off clearish, whitish uh, white rum. So that fits that. It's quite funky. It's really good. Uh, so we've added that. We have added an aged or kind of semi-aged uh, agricole there, down there. We've got, uh, well, FDC, we've got Florida Canna 7, 12 and 18. Uh, 25 year old will be a Christmas present to myself. It's over 100 quid a bottle, but it's good stuff. Uh, oh, Pampero Anniversario, which is really, really sexy. We like that Venezuelan rum. Uh, and that's it. Oh, Picardi eight-year-old. Oh, no, sorry, Havana seven-year-old and Picardi eight-year-old. And just a caveat, uh, for all the, you know, the slagging off Picardi gets, do you know what? I have to say, uh, for anything under the eight-year-old and under, those two, smash it. They're really, really good. They're probably really up there with my favourites. But my favourite, favourite rums uh, of all time, I finally got them. They're all in. 
ED12, Angostura 1919, absolutely sensational. Uh, Flor de Cana 12, Flor de Cana 18 year old, absolutely stunning rums. Uh, and where is my other one? Oh, uh, Plantation XO, which is, yeah, you can see it's on screen. They are my top five all-time all-stars. But I tell you what, the Bacardi 4 and the Bacardi 8, they're really, really good. So this chat is absolutely flying through. Uh, oh, dear God, let me scroll right back. Where do we get to? Uh, we got to there. Hello, Mogsy. How are you, my friend? Claire, I have rum. I have rum home again. Rum, rum. Rum, rum, I like what you did there, it was really good. Uh, Black Tears. Black Tears is a proper, authentic Cuban uh, spiced rum. Uh, really, really good to see the focus. The focus wasn't working on Friday on the Drink Stuff Live. Uh, so yeah, Friday afternoons, you get, you get me again. Friday afternoons, Drink Stuff. Uh, it's, it's a proper out and out Cuban rum, no sweetness to it at all, uh, blended with cacao, coffee beans and pepper. A really, really, really tasty. No sweetness to it. It's a proper tasty Cuban rum. We like that. There is, it's still live on my channel. There is a review of that on my channel. Uh, ignore the spiced rum channel. That's no longer, I'm not keeping up with that. But there is a review of that um, probably 18 months, two years ago. Uh, we did that. Uh, Black Tears, so that's that. Ah, oh, is that the... That is the, with the mention of pusses, uh, where the pusses spice. There you go, Steve-O. How are you, my friend? Steve, are you down at Imbibe uh, next week? We'll have to say hello. Um, pusses is out of stock, the other stuff. I was going to get that, but um, yeah, we're out of stock there. Uh, so let's let's catch up if you're at uh, Imbibe, Steve. Stephen, Steve. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, for those of you watching, Steve uh, Dingley is pusses. I don't know what his official title is, but pusses UK god essentially. <laughs> uh, Trevor RDA, Mark SH, love the ED12, yeah, it's awesome stuff. Hey Mr. Barham, how are you? Jason, hello mate. Trevor V, what's Trevor V saying? Uh, I have, I have no, what? I have no ting. That's oh, all right, we've got ting. Fentiman sparkling elderflower, crazy. Uh, dynamic cocktails, hello dynamic cocktails. I see Chairman's Reset, yeah, Chairman's is awesome. Uh, Trevor, no, I need to get some uh, Jerry Toes. Uh, Need, we need to get on that. Sykes, yes, Steve's still on. Steve, if you're wondering who I'm chatting to, it's because everyone's on YouTube. I only go live to Facebook for the odd people that come in, but loads of YouTube's the main place. Uh, Paul, I, I did see your comment in Discord. I know you've got family pee up at home. Uh, Julie, hey Julie, how are you? Uh, top five videos, RDA, what have we got? Going through them, all oh, awesome. Right, oh, Steve, Steve, oh, 151 is now in stock. Oh, oh, hello, hello. That could be interesting. Yeah, I need to get some more. We need to get some pusses behind the bar. Some proper stuff. Um, that, that'd be quite good, that'd be quite good. Right then, let's uh, crack on because knowing me, this will be a three hour show as before. Uh, could get true. Right, so uh, first off, let's get the old screenshot so you can see. And if I'm cleverly move this side, uh, there we go. I've got it there. Look. Right, so tonight we are featuring uh, Georgie Radev, and I know I've got a few comments. Uh, who, like, who's the... Uh, he's the legend behind... Uh, he's been a bartender loads, loads and loads, a very long time, but he's the legend behind Lackey Kane um, in sort of... I forget where he's like. Islington? I forget what the actual suburb is, but kind of... Not North London, but North City Centre London in uh, Lackey Kane's great sort of tiki bar. Uh, for those of you that are coming out uh, next Monday to imbibe, uh, we might be hitting that up Monday night. It'd be rude not to. Uh, so that's going to do. We've got three cocktails we're going to do. We are going to do. Uh, these are th my, probably my three fun favourite cocktails out of his book. Uh, as I say, completely different to uh, anything in the Smuggler's Cove. Uh, so we're going to be doing the Tiki Tiki Bang Bang, we're going to be doing the Rum Runner, and we are going to be doing uh, the Beach Whacker. The Rum Runner is not one of his, as you can see, created in the 1950s, but uh, these two, I, uh, I think these are actually his cocktails. I think they are. Um, so yeah, we'll be going through that, and as per the two Trevor's request, or definitely Trevor Rose's request, we're going to start off with the Rum Runner, all right? So uh, I'm going to try and stand this side so we don't... I don't know, do you want me to leave that up on screen or not? Uh, hey, oh, hey, Leo Trim. Please <laughs> try Angostura Rum. Yeah, I don't know who that's aimed at, but there. Uh, Kevin, what's that say? 
Please send my boys. No, no, no. But first day back at school. Why are they not back at school already? Oh, I like went back to school on first day. Uh, not mine. I ain't got any. Kevin, uh, James, James, Sam. Hello, James, Sam. Uh, Steve, the barman gives you permission to stay up till 10 o'clock tonight. You know, you don't, this first day back at school, you never do anything. You just sign registers, say, yes, miss, I'm here. And that's it, isn't it? Like, first day back at school is nothing, really. So, yeah, stay up till 10 o'clock. You've got permission. Uh, Pat, Islington. Yes, I knew, it was, I knew it was kind of there. I didn't kind of, you know, whether it was a suburb somewhere else. But there we go. Right. Cheers, Tom C. Right. What's, what's Trevor Rose saying there? Uh, I was getting reloaded on a bunch here today. It must be dipping in. Right, cool. So, numbers. Oh, we've got quite a few of you on. Got quite a few of you on. So, the run runner. Do I leave it? Uh, do I leave it on screen? I, I probably can leave it on screen just for that. So, uh, you notice it says gold rum uh, and dark rum. So, I figured for tonight, because I've been shouting about them, uh, I figured tonight I'm going to be using... Let's go, because, because these are fun, I'm going to go Bacardi 4-year-old. Not the 8-year-old, I'm going to go Bacardi 4. That's going to be good. So we've got uh, gold rum. The dark rum, I'm going to go to black. I'm going to go Gosling's. Uh, what else we got? Angostura bitters. We're going to go Mule. Well, the regular follows to me, you know, I have got creme de Mule. I don't really use creme de Mule. I prefer posh stuff, because I can't say it. Excuse the belly if that's coming out. Uh, Giffard Frambar de Ronce, because it's much better than creme de mule. Uh, we like that. It's very, very sexy. Uh, banana and grenadine. So which one? Where's my banana? We've got Giffard banana. We've got a bit of grenadine. There's quite a lot of ingredients in this, to be fair. Uh, lime juice, orange juice, uh, and pineapple. So what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine! Nine ingredients. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, nine ingredients. Right, I'm going to finish this daiquiri off. Hey, Nick, finally made it. Yes, good lad, Nick. Nick Walpole, where are you from, Nick? Trevor, we can't afford... Look, we cannot afford to use ED12 like you do as bloody tap water. It's like quadruple the price over here to what you pay. So I'm going Bacardi for Sodja and Gosling's. We know... Right, so if I line those up behind there, that's cool. So you can't see that, but I'll make it here so we can we can go this side. Do we like that? I know Trevor. I know Trevor V doesn't like the whole book thing, Georgie. If you if you actually ever watch this back, I don't know whether you will, but if you ever watch this, the Canadian contingent don't like the way you've laid out your book. They still bought it. <laughs> Cornwall. Nick's from Cornwall. Good lad. Where about Nick? Whereabouts? Maybe take down whilst you're making. Oh, look, Ross. Ross is... Oh, Ross. All right, Ross, just for you. Mood Hoover. <laughs> Which one is it? That one, hide. Right, okay. All right, Ross, there we go. I can't see what I'm doing now. Joking. Right, so, uh, cocktail shaker, where are we? So we're going 30 mil of gold rum. So gold rums, uh, what did I... Where's my little list gone? I've put a list somewhere of, of, gold, of what you could use in this. Uh, so you could go the Chairman's, the Dorleys, the five-year-old, ED5, ED8. Oh, but yeah, by the way, that is, I have got, old school, I have got some El Dorado eight-year-old in a Havana bottle, uh, the bottle smashed. I've had it quite a lot. <laughs> I've had it for about a year or so, but that's the remnants of El Dorado eight-year-old. Um, so yeah, we have got ED8. So ED5, uh, Plantation, five-year-old Barbados, uh, Appleton's, all, all those kind of rums will work a treat. But so we're going 30 mil uh, Picardi four-year-old. Love that. Let's, let's be tidy. Let's put that away as we go along. Uh, we're then going 30 mil again of, I need to go back to the chat, sorry. Chat, there we go. Cool, right. Uh, Red Ruth, Nick, do, do you know Nick Trillisk? Trillis boy, that's where I was born. That's where I was born and praised. Uh, a Luggan, a Luggan Highway in between Redruth and Campbell. And that's exactly where I'm from. Me and you, me and you could be brothers. Don't know how old you are, but there we go. Uh, yeah, so uh, how mad is that, Redruth? Uh, 30 mil of black dark rum. I'm not gonna waste my Pampero Anniversario in this. So we're going black rum in there, dark rum. Uh, what's next? One dash of Angostura bitters. Very, very uh, there. Hey, Kay. It's a brand new bottle, so it was two dashes. Um, we are going, what's next up? I think grenadine's next. Five mil of grenadine. So we'll do a little, where's my, we'll do a little bar spoon of grenadine. There we go. 
uh, 20 mil of creme de mule and 20 mil of uh, frambard de ronce. Love this stuff. Need a new bottle of this. Who did? Who was I saying stock up on this instead of creme de mule? Someone. Georgie. Oh, she, she's not on yet, I don't think. Uh, so 20 mil of frambard de ronce. Go that side. Got 20 mil of a banana liqueur. This is hands down. There we go. We can zoom. Hands down the best banana uh, liqueur on the market. Don't faff around with anything else. Just go straight for this. Yes, it's a couple more expensive than the bowls. You pay for what you get though. Or you get what you pay for. That's the way, right way around. So 20 mil of that. Uh, who else we got? Hey Ash, how are you? And a few more ingredients. I'll do the lime. I've got, look at that, look. I, I kind of miss, I've got two thirds of a lime and a third of a lime there. So we'll try and do this. Uh, lime juice is what? 20 mil of lime juice. Dun, 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 dun. Get that in there. Ooh. Right, 20 mil of lime juice, which should be probably about, yeah, bang on. So it's nearly a whole lime, nearly a whole lime. 20 mil of lime juice, 20, 30 mil of orange juice and 30 mil of pineapple juice. So orange juice with bits in it and pressed, proper pressed pineapple juice, 30 mil there. Job is a uh, good one. Jordan Picard. Oh, Jordan, uh, we will do. I'll go back to Smuggler's Cove. Um, there's no live show next week. As I say, we're all down at Imbibe. Um, so there's no live show next week. But Jordan, drop me, because I never remember these. Drop me uh, a DM or email me. Um, and I will add it to, and it means we've, got, we've all got to get guava somehow. Um, I could get guava, but not many people can get guava. Uh, but... Uh, just email me, DM me, I'll add it to the live in two weeks' time. If I do Smuggler's Cove then, I might, I've might. i got a couple more books to feature, but we'll definitely add it the next time we do a Smug Smuggler's Cove book, all right? Uh, my Discord is going a bit nuts. Oh, here we go. Let's get them up there. Trevor. Trevor, Trevor, stop chatting to yourself on Discord. Chat on, chat on the, the chat. Right, good, hard, fast shake. I got to do that for Damo when he watches back in the morning from China. Right, this is a Tiki Rocks glass, this one. So we're going in there. I'm just, I'm going to do proper fresh ice. There we go. And let's do a strainy, strainy. So rum runner. There we go. We could top that up with a bit of crushed ice if we wanted to. Just. Uh, Plenty of room in there. Right. What's this taste like? Who's making this? Can't put pictures on YouTube. Can I can I share them though? Have you put pictures on? Can I can I where have you done it? If you've done it in the live, STB Live, there we go. Uh do these work for Golden Dark? Yes, Trevor, they do. <laughs> so this is Trevor. Can I show this Trevor? V? Can I show this on the live? What you've just created? Hey Debs, how are you? Quite, that's quite good. That's actually not that sweet. Despite all that kind of sweetness in there, the banana comes through. Trevor, yep, right. This, this is what Trevor V has just created in Canada. There we go, can we see that? Look at that. So that's Trevor V. Lovely, jubbly. Looks like, looks like a little candle. He's got like a little wick in the middle. <laughs> that's awesome. So he's used... Oh, see, I, zo I zoomed in so you didn't see what lime he'd used, otherwise you would have shouted at him. Banana, Giffard Muir. That tin, is that your pineapple juice? Is that the tins of whatever it is? Dolo, Dolo, is it? What pineapple juice do you get over there? I forget. What's that grenadine? Homemade grenadine. Look at that. Nice. Well done. What do you think, Trevor? Mine's there as well. Show away. Where's yours? I didn't see yours. Oh, it's there. <laughs> Oh, look out. Tre Trevor, the two Trevors go head to head. That's Trevor Rose. Look at that. Look, little little bit of Georgie's book in the background. Look, look at that. Pineapple. 
bit of maraschino cherry. What do we reckon, lads? Do we like that? Do we not like that? Ash Canadians shine. I know, right, hang on, what's Trevor? I know the wife's out for groceries right now, lime juice, all right, fair enough. Uh, do we like it? Do we not? What else? Middle class. Is that good? Ma Manchester, Winchester Mafia. <laughs> cool. All right, I think I saw all the, um, no, that was what I was going to say. What do I think? I've not, I don't honestly know. I just assume, how do I say your name? Rowan? Cohen? How, what, is that R. Cohen? How, how do we say your name? I don't know how we say your name. Uh, Havana Club, Skepta, I'm assuming it's just a limited bottle. I'm assuming it's the same it's around a seven-year-old, isn't it? I haven't really looked at it, to be fair. Um, but I'm just assuming it's just a limited edition bottle run, so it'll be exactly the same as what that is. I don't think they're going to do a special blend. They might they might have done, but I doubt it. Uh, so I'm assuming it's just a bottle. But I don't know. Uh, don't hold me to that. I've no idea. Right. Uh, we caught up there. Where did we get to? Right. Trevor V has made it. Love it. It's going in my recipe book. That's quite a fair, yeah. I'm surprised, I'm surprised Mummy Barman hasn't appeared at the door yet to try it. She can. Do you know what I reckon? I reckon you could add a bit of almond to that, a bit of orgeat. That'd kind of go nice with that, I reckon. Hmm, interesting. Greetings from Texas. Hello, Texas. Uh, it's right, here we go, Trevor Rose. It's fantastic, perfectly balanced grenadine, although five mil was needed. Yes. I forget, hang on, where's where's my little thing? It says in the it says in the graphics who it was it's that one, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, this cocktail was created in the late 1950s by the Holiday Eye Resort and Tiki in Isla Morada in the Florida Keys. Okay. 1950s cocktail. Name refers to Rum Runners, blah, blah, blah. As you can tell, my camera, my live camera is like straight, straight in front of the screen behind. But it's good, I can see the chat much bigger. So, here we go. Cool, right, let's hide that away. Uh, okay, questions, hang on. Uh, I need to get rid of that. Uh, we go hide, hide that one, yeah. Right, uh, questions then. Trevor's, two Trevor's, how would you change it, if anything? I've, I've just gone for the good shout of a uh, bit of almond, a bit of orchat syrup in there. Um, maybe to replace the grenadine, I don't know. We kind of like the colour of it. Mummy Barman's obviously not coming in, so she doesn't want to try it, so uh, that's that's up to her. Uh, more for me. Watch it, my cameras, my, my Discord server, they're all in the old Discord. Cheese Boy, why cheese, oh, you can't hear me if you're in here. Cheese, why is Cheese Boy not watching? these people. Rachel, boys boys have just had their prison haircuts for school. I can now sit down. Just put a bowl over it and go. <laughs> Trevor wouldn't change it. Trevor V wouldn't change it. Trevor Rose would just add more rum. OFTD. We should have gone OFTD instead of, uh, instead of the Gosling, shouldn't we? That would have been quite cool. <laughs> oh, hang on. Yeah, maybe maybe 15 mil of 151. That would have been good. If Steve, I doubt Steve still is watching, but if Steve's still watching, some Pusses 151 might be calling that. I didn't, I didn't never heard of Pusses 151, to be fair. Uh, don't know. Cool. Right. Uh, so, Mummy Barman obviously is not uh, wanting to partake, so uh, I'm just going to wash these down. RDA. Uh, I've just had a whiskey. Sorry, I'm reading out. Need to put that on screen so we can G. I've just had a whiskey, it was a sample I had and it was disgusting compared to these rums. <laughs> Come on, RDA, name and shame it. What what whiskey was it? <laughs> Come on, name and shame. What whiskey, what whiskey was it? Come on, let us all know. Right, I'm just gonna very quickly, I'm off at the side here, just rinsing these down. Oh, here she comes. Here she comes, look, here she comes. I was gonna say, are you not watching? No, you're not. Yes, I have. No, you're not. She's tipsy already, look. Oh, I like that one. Oh, you like that one? Oh, her little eyes have just gone. <laughs> mm. Yeah, you like that one? Yeah, very nice. I think that'll be your least favourite one of the night. Reckon? Yeah, I reckon so. She's left me a little bit, look. She's only, she's only taken like a third of it. She's done one. Glenn Livett. Wow. Hang on a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, RDA... 
I've just had a whiskey sample and it was disgust, disgusting compared to these rums. He follows that up with the rum was Glenlivet 1825 Founders Reserve. So we are, we're talking a bit posh there. Wow. Proper, yeah, but I'm, I'm not a Scotch fan anyway, so it's going to be disgusting for me. Well, not disgusting, but I don't, I don't appreciate Scotch. I don't, I'm not, not a huge Scotch fan. Look, I can't, I can't see what you're chatting about in the Discord. So, Ash is, Ash is shocking. Oh, it's all right. They're just chatting away. All my, all my legends are in there. Uh, Claire, Mummy B, uh, hi, Mummy B. No bad B. RDA, right, while I'm doing this, RDA, what's your favourite rum that you've had so far then? <laughs> Amusis, Amusis. You've got Glenlivet, 18, whatever it was. 25 pounds? Oh, was it, what, for the bottle? Okay. 18, 20, wow, okay, that surprised me. I thought you were going to be expensive then. All right then, that shows you how much my whiskey, my, uh, how much whiskey knowledge I've got, which is really not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when it comes to Scotch and malt whiskies, Chairman's Reserve. Right there we go. I was listening to a podcast about Chairman's Reserve earlier. Actually, really, really, I'll share it in the Discord. Really, really good and informative. And it kind of when you hear the, the master distiller and the CEO of the company and like their, their progress over the last sort of ten years or so, kind of really you buy into it and you kind of like, oh, I really like that. So I'm kind of tempted to get there. Uh, the bounty. I really want to get the Admiral Rodney might sort of come in November time. You know, that is another one of my, that would probably be number six of my all-time favourite uh, rums. I absolutely adore Admiral Rodney. It's a bit expensive. Not quite the £100 a bottle, but it's a bit expensive. It's, it's even more expensive than the Florida Kana 18-year-old. Um, so, yeah, I would, and that is obviously St. Lucian Distillers. Um, so, uh, uh, Chairman's Reserve, it's like they're posh or posher one. They've obviously got Bounty as well, and Bounty's really good. So Bounty, uh, I would class, the only other brand that I don't know a few of you guys would go with is um, Trevor Rose. What's that coconut rum brand? Um, they, they're a rum brand, but they've got a really good coconut rum that you love. Uh, Bounty are kind of like that. They have their different flavors. They've got a lime, they've got a coconut. I think native to St. Lucia, they've got a mango and another one as well. Um, but it's kind of their, their cheaper range, but it's still really, really good. And they were saying that they didn't have, up until like a couple of years ago, they literally didn't have the confidence to put their rums out there in the world. So they've, in St. Lucia, it's been these Bounty and all this has been a thing for decades, but they've just been, They've had no confidence to put it out into the world. And as soon as they did, everyone just fell in love with it. So what we kind of see, because we've got no knowledge, obviously, what we kind of see is like this cheap rum that St. Lucia, uh, St. Lucia distillers have released. You kind of, they kind of think cashing in. It's actually not, it's actually what, it's actually what the island drinks. And you're kind of like, oh, well, get it out of here, let us see. So yeah, I'm really tempted to get, now I know all about the bounty. I'm really tempted to kind of uh, uh, get it. Shipwrecked, there we go. That's what we saw, shipwrecked. RDA, but Red Leg was my first ever spiced rum. Okay. Oh, hang on. I've, I'm missing. Oh, I'm missing loads of chats here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, scroll back, scroll back. Where do we get to? 25, 25 pounds. Right, let's go with one. Uh, it's Chairman's Reserve. Second cut to this third. Bayou. Is that Bayou spiced or Bayou normal? I'm assuming by that list, you've, you, I'm assuming by the list, you're talking spiced rums. You're not talking. Or are you? Which Chairman's Reserve do you mean? The rum or the spiced? That list, you've got to be talking about spiced, surely. Uh, rum bullion. Haven't had a bottle, just samples. Okay, interesting. Yeah, you've got you've got to be talking about spiced. A chairman spiced fell into my trolley. <laughs> it's, it's terrible when that happens. I tell you what, the, the rum fairies, they've really got to watch themselves. <laughs> uh, where do we get to? Cool. I, I've never heard of that. Are you spiced? Yeah, we're, we're all spiced. All spiced. I knew you were talking spiced. Cool. I'm just going to ignore the, the Discord. And there's so many flipping chats and banters going on in the Discord. My membership community. I'm just going to ignore that because you're putting me off. So if you want to chat to me, chat, chat in here. Right. Cool. So we're caught up with the spice there. So we'll, um, I've got that washed down. I think uh, let's move on to the second cocktail. I'm still drinking my daiquiri. Mm. Cool. That Appleton 12-year-old was a stunning daiquiri, by the way. Really, really good daiquiri. Really, really like that. Ash. I made a Blue Lagoon from Let's Get Tropical, but substituted the vodka for 
Club Three, Havana. Fair dues. Fair dues. We all would. <laughs> we all would. So, right. The second cocktail. Uh, who who was getting who was getting a bit antsy in the car? Uh, Trevor Rose. Which one should we do next? Should we do the what's it called Tiki Tiki Bang Bang or the Beach Whacker? Which one do you want to do next, Trevor Rose? As you got all stroppy and just like, oh, we better be doing this one first. Uh, so let me know. Either Trevor, actually, I know you're making along at home. So which which one should we do? Come on, five. If you don't pick in five seconds, I know the chat is not delayed. So come on, if you don't pick in five seconds, I'm going. So five, four, three, beach whacker. Right, okay, well done. Or, or this is how this is how Trevor's like, come on, type it, type it really quickly. <laughs> Brack, Brack whacker. <laughs> right, so we're gonna do the beach whacker next. So, right. Now, uh, gold rum. I'm gonna go Picardi four year old again, because we like that. Hang on, so we, let me get the beach whacker up here. Graphics. I can't see which one it is, so I might have to change it. Oh, it is that one. That's cool. There we go. Beach Whacker. Right. So, um, hang on. Which side? We're going this side. So, we're going Picardi four-year-old. We're going for a bit of apricot liqueur. We are going for a bit of vanilla liqueur. So, I'm going to use... You could use Liquor 43 for this, he says. Did I leave my Liquor 43 out? I must have done. Where's my Liquor 43? Oh, there, there it is. I was going to say, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have hidden that away. That's got to have stayed out. Liquor 43. So you could use either of those. I'm going to use um, uh, organic. There's, there's some, uh, I forget which channels it was now. There's a couple of channels uh, using Galliano, uh, where tiki recipes called for Galliano. Now, I guarantee it 100% when a tiki book or a recipe book calls for Galliano, they are not talking about the Galliano with the, with the purple lid on it. They're talking about Galliano L'Authentico with the white uh, cap on it. The purple blue one is purely uh, developed as a vanilla liqueur. When recipes actually say Galliano, they mean, they mean L'Authentico, which is head to head with that. Okay, that is not in the same ballpark as, as that. And L'Authentico, I, I haven't got a L'Authentico. I did have a normal Galliano, but uh, a, a vanilla Galliano, but they're very different products. Uh, very, very different. The, the purple Galliano one is um, the vanilla one is a lot more vanilla forward than the authentico. So just be wary of that if you are making authentic cocktails. All right. So uh, that is completely different to that. That's got 43 herbs and spices in it. Yes, vanilla is the most powerful, but there's lots of other things going on. That is just vanilla. All right. So uh, vanilla orjat. I've got a new orjat coming out to play tomorrow. Uh, when I'm doing another little filming session. So we've got a bit of orjat, spiced maple syrup, a bit of monin, spiced maple. Trevor V is going to get very excited now with that. Uh, lime juice and my ting is still in the fridge. Nice, nice and cold. Ting, you could go, it's just grapefruit soda. So we've got... Um, San Pellegrino, Pompelmo, you could, I would, you know, I love using Lilt. Uh, I've got Aldi's, what's it called? Aldi's, uh, I forgot what it's called now, what's it called? Tropical Blast, Aldi's Tropical Blast, pineapple and grapefruit, but you know, this calls for Lilt, we're gonna, uh, this calls for Ting grapefruit soda, so we're gonna use that. Of course, you could use fresh grapefruit and some soda water, tiny, tiny bit of sugar, that's all that is, but that's what we've got. So again, we've got one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. We've got seven ingredients. One, two, three, four, five, eight. Because we need this. This is why I left this till last. Now, um, let's put these to one side. I'm just going to very quickly, because I know quite a few of you have picked up um, Georgie's book now. It's very confusing, because we've got a Georgie and a Georgia in our Discord, in our membership community. Uh, but when I say Georgie, I mean Georgie Radev, who is Lucky Kane. Right. So, Joy and I... I would say I know this for a fact. I'm pretty sure I know this for a fact, uh, but there's a slight, slight chance that I could be wrong on this. Let me go back to the chat. Sorry, the chat's not open. There we go. Uh, there we go. Right, boom. Right, John Scarrett. Hello, John Scarrett. Uh, Trevor Rose already making. Right, uh, I'm using Galliano. Yeah, that's that's fine, Trevor, but, uh, because Galliano vanilla is what it's called for. It says vanilla liqueur. Uh, it doesn't say Galliano. All right, so when it says Galliano, nine times out of ten, it's going to be Lothentico, which is a different product to the purple Galliano vanilla. Uh, right, so uh, have you got... Uh, yes, Claire, if we're talking about the orjat, that is yes. It, that is what is coming out to play. Fresh grapefruit is 50p. 
did George, what's that? Did George, there is, uh, it should be released uh, very, very soon. Um, right, so I said, I'm gonna back myself. I think this is pretty true, um, but there is a slight element that it, it may be a false statement. Those of you that have got this book, okay, let's get tropical. When Georgie means, when he says mango syrup, or passion fruit syrup, uh, and I know he's put a pineapple ring in there, but those syrups, when he says syrups, he will, because I know he uses uh, real. So the mango syrups in the book, the passion fruit syrups, and I'm sure there's a couple of others he uses, he is referring to real, not, uh, not this. So again, we've been down this route. I've chatted about a lot of this on the Drink Stuff channel. These are very different products, products even though these are syrups, okay? These are thicker, more, luxu more luxurious. They are essentially syrups, but they're more fruity mixes. So they will give you a very different texture and a very uh, different vibrancy of flavor coming out. So in that book, I'm pretty sure I'm right on this. He, even though he doesn't mention, I'm sure he doesn't mention it by brand. I, I know that he, used to use uh, Real a lot uh, and he was even doing a lot of brand stuff for Real. So that's the syrup. So the equivalent for us obviously is ODK. There is a major issue at the moment uh, with ODK coming into um, drink stuff. Uh, a lot of his stuff is out of stock. We're waiting for the date to come back but it will be there soon. But uh, that's what essentially what he's referring to. It's this kind of stuff or like the fruity mixes. The fruit uh, and the, the sugar as opposed to kind of like a, a runny syrup like that. All right, um, they are interchangeable, but they're just different. We've chatted about it a lot, they are different. So for his pineapple ring, I'm gonna use pineapple puree. That's essentially what I'm doing there. So uh, to keep Ross, to keep the party pooper happy, let's uh, get rid of that. Uh, which one was it? Hide, it was that one. Right, okay, let's go back to the chat. So, uh, da, 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 da. Oh, Mark, for those of you having reading Claire and Mark, Mark's just like he's, Mark's basically admitted he hasn't had a grapefruit in his house for 20 years or so. He was like, Where do I get a quarter of an ounce of grapefruit from? We were just like, Just buy a grapefruit. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, right, this is another shaking cocktail. Talking of books, my book, my book's not coming out yet. We know that, we know that. Don't worry, Ash. Uh, right, cool. So, um, a shaky cocktail. We're going for our gold rum, which I believe was 40 mil. Is that right? Yeah, 40 mil. Uh, the recipe actually says muddle down your uh, pineapple ring first. Of course, I'm going to use puree, so it doesn't matter too much. Uh, Trevor's, Trevor's uploaded a bushwhacker to my Discord. <laughs> it's a beachwhacker, not a bushwhacker. <laughs> uh, let's do the pineapple stuff now. So I'm going to do, uh, I'm just going to do 15 mil of this. 15 mil pineapple puree. That should give us roughly the same as like a pineapple ring, give or take. So 15 mil of pineapple fruity mix. Uh, where are we now? We're going to do 20 mil of apricot, uh, that one. 20 ml of apricot liqueur. Again, hands down the best apricot liqueur on the market. Giffard knocks spots off anything else you will uh, ever taste. There's, they're not paying me to say that, it's just the truth. It's the God's honest truth. Uh, I don't want the liquor 43. So we're going vanilla liqueur. We are going for 20 ml of vanilla liqueur as well. So that can go back up. We then want 10 mil of orgeat. Orgeat, orgeu. Can you share my right? Uh, so 10 mil of almond orgeat or syrup. Uh, 10 mil of the spiced maple. Cool, that's all sticky. So 10, 10 mil of that, modern spiced maple. This is lovely stuff. Maple spices in there. Oh, it's really, really good. I need to. I've got all orgeat all over my hands now. There we go. Otherwise, we'll make every other bottle really, really sticky. Uh, how much lime did I want? And 25 ml of lime juice. So, probably going to have to do another half a lime here. Yeah, 
definitely going to have to do another half a line. Let's get that one. I'm assuming I'm assuming this picture's in the Discord, which I'll share in a minute. Oh, there we go. Perfect. So it's about it's about a whole line. I've got about 28 mil, if I'm being honest there. So it's about a whole line in there. And then it's ting, isn't it? So we've got that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So it's a bit light in the old booze, this one. 40 mil of booze. You know, it's a bit, it could be, could be a bit heavier in the old booze. We shall we shall assess it afterwards. But at the end of the day, you know, when you're going out on the booze, on the Raz in Lackey Cane, and you're spending 10, 12, 15 pound a cocktail, you kind of, you know, Georgie plays it quite clever, you know, because you don't want to get people rat off so they don't have two or three cocktails, you know, you kind of got to dial the booze back a little bit, you know, so quite a clever business sense there. Right, Damo, this one's for you when you're watching back in China. <laughs> Right, this one is a sling glass. Which one should we go for to make it look pretty? Should we go for the book? The book kind of used that one. I'm going to go for that one. Let's, let's use that one. Right, uh, shake and dump, sod it. Let's, uh, let's do a strain and then let's use the same ice again. See how much ice we've got in the old... Oh, we could have used all of it. There we go. We could have used all of it. Another ice cube for luck. I think the garnish for that was like a chaff. Forget what it was now. There's a picture in it. What's the um, graphics? Was it that one? I oh, know he doesn't put garnishes on. No, what's he say? Garnish. Oh yeah, I forgot the ting. I forgot the ting. No, forgot the ting. Forgot the ting. Forgot the ting. Oh, that's a bit naughty. Ting, right. Top up with ting. There we go. Now we've got a proper one. Where the ice cube goes, that one. Let's put that back. So. I tell you what, the maple really comes through in that one. What do we think to this? Hang on, let's hide that again. Uh, put that back. Right, chat. I'm assuming there's pictures in the old, in the old Discord. Right, where do we go through? Let's go back. Uh, that's where they're talking about grapefruits. Right, so we're there. Ash, I know you're killing me, Stephen, with all the good things. <laughs> Paul, I thought you had I thought you had friends around, Paul. Stop chatting to us. Unless unless we're live to the whole the whole stadium. <laughs> uh, what's Paul saying? If you need a ghostwriter for your book, I'll volunteer. <laughs> right. Might have to settle for bowls, mark, 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 bowls. This this Right, okay, which one was it? Who's this? Trevor Rose. This is meh for me. I used Jamaica 2003-99 proof, 45. See, this is, this is where we get very, very different to Smuggler's Cove because these are the fun. These are the drinks that sell. You know, you stick that on a cocktail menu. Um, it's just, A, the name is really, really good but people are just gonna buy it over and over and over again. They're not gonna, the Smuggler's Cove ones, although they're really, really good, you know, they are for connoisseurs. These are just like fun, smash them out, you know, make loads of, shed loads of money on these. The pineapple, the pineapple puree may have made it a little bit too sweet. I think it does need a little bit more rum in there. Maybe even some bitters or something like that. Maybe a little dash of uh, pimento dram. Maybe. Don't know. Um, I'm assuming there's pictures in here. What have they got in the old Discord? Uh, SDB live show. What have we done? Yes, we've got... Oh, look at Trevor in his fancy glasses. Right, this is Trevor Rose. Oh, Jamaica 2001. All right. This is, this is Trevor Rose. That's his little effort. Boys and girls, can you compete with that? That looks like a peach. There's a garnish on there. I'm assuming that's a Surfside sip as well. <laughs> who, who else? This is Trevor. So what's Trevor used? Trevor V's used Plantation Five Year Old and the Giffards. Dolly, that's it. Right, this is, that's Trevor V's. There we go. And he's used Elderflower, not Grapefruit Ting. What's that bowl behind it? Oh, Orgeat Almond. Cool, right, that's it. 
See, Trevor V's on it. Trevor V likes it. Trevor Rose. Yeah. <laughs> Mummy Barman, this is ready for you if you want to try it. Right. Ash Garnish is on the next page. Ah, okay. Cool. Pineapple wedge and a frond for the garnish. Yeah, we can do that. Right. RDA. What's RDA saying here? Anyone ever mixed rum and whiskey together? Yeah, quite a lot. Quite a few of the tiki recipes. We will be getting onto that. Quite a few of the tiki recipes do include uh, whiskey. In there, there's quite a few, um, and, and brandy and gin to be fair. Um, like the fog cutter is, uh, I think the fog cutter is rum, gin, and brandy. I think um, you just got to just got to be aware. RDA, hang on, poured Red Lake into a glass. I was using uh, for the rum, and now as well, has to kick. Do not mix. I think you got to remember RDA, and I've kind of touched on this a few times. So it's not bad, but you got to, you've got to get it into your head. Sparsed rums. And not rums. They, you know, they will dr drastically change cocktails. For that, we are talking about rums with these cocktails. Yes, spiced rums will work in these, but you'll have to drastically bring down the spice, bring down the sweetness, especially with um, like stuff like Red Leg, like that Rum Bullion, like De Dead Man's Fingers. They're infinitely more sweeter than what these rums will be. All right, so you just got to play about with that. Otherwise, you'll end up with a really, really sweet cocktail. Uh... RDA, I've never won for cocktails, just start trying. <laughs> bitters, bitters with a, I'm dehydrated pineapple, yeah, to be fair, I've made a few. Also muddled pineapple, just not a fan, bit flat. I, th I think, yeah, I see, I'm not I'm not overly convinced he does that either. I think he uses the real pineapple. I'm, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure Georgie Radev, Mr. Radev, I'm sure he uses real pineapple. I'm sure he does. Don't hold me to that. I'm sure he does. Um, what's that? There is a there is a recipe in the book Steve is using this evening. What was that for? Uh, dash orange bitters and dash of ango. Completely different drink. Much better. Ah, okay. I wouldn't have thought of the orange bitters. That's a good shout. Uh, I'm I'm actually. Do you know what I'm actually thinking? I'm actually thinking the tiki bitters, wherever they are. So those ones, I'm actually thinking uh, tiki bitters. That's what I'm doing. I'm just waiting for Mummy Barman to come in. Otherwise, you know, I'm just going to flip in, change the cocktail, and she'll be like, Ooh. "Right, cool." So, I I just genuinely think it just needs a little bit more booze. I think 60 ml of booze, I think would have nailed it. I think that would have been bang on, or a kind of darker. Let's see, here she comes. Look, finally, third time for asking. It shows she's not paying attention. She's got bloody Emmerdale Farm on or whatever's on in the background. That's not what I'm on Sunday. That's up. not up. Shut up. Shut up. Yeah, she's sipping away. She likes that one. <laughs> Don't think I'm getting that back. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Can you hear that? Speak into that. Well, I can't see you. It's a microphone. <laughs> Jesus Christ. She's oh! <laughs> Well, at least one of these days we're going to get a second camera just up there. You won't catch me out, lad. You won't catch me out. That's lovely. You like that, dear? Oh, right. No changes? Not that you know, anyway. Just right. Just right. Okay. It's just, it's just right, right for Mummy Barman. There you go, people. Just right. Uh, oh, off you go. <laughs> uh, I. <laughs> oh, she cracks me up. Five. Right, hang on, where do we get to? Uh, da, da, da. I saw pretty flat. Right, there we go. Uh, RDA. Rumble and Jeff Kate managed to stay in your bar on view. Yep, they are. There. Oh, yeah, they're there. Look. One, two. I don't... Yeah, one, two, three. Can you see the mouse? You must be able to see the mouse on the screen. Yeah, you must be able to. Of course you can. Um, or can you? I don't know. Can you? Can <laughs> you? I don't know. I've never noticed that on the replay, so I don't know whether you can see the mouse. Um, but yeah, they're, they're there. Right, hide that. Right. Uh, Trevor. 60 mil of an 80 proof, so 40% uh, pineapple syrup over a pineapple ring. Yeah, I think five minutes gone would have... Yeah, I think because, because of the pineapple syrup has obviously got sugar in it, I think that's why it kind of works for us. No mouse. All right. So you can't see the mouse. I'm pointing to stuff on screen and you can't see it. That's really annoying. <laughs> I didn't even call on to that, to be fair. Right. Um, I'm actually just going to, just as it is, I'm not going to add any more rum. I'm just going to add kind of some, oh, let's give it, 
don't think I need to. Let's just give it a little. You've done RDA. <gasps> RDA. Whoa, 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 whoa. RDA. You're going. You're going on screen in a minute. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've got eight drops of these Elamanculi Tiki Bitters, cinnamon, allspice, and island, island spices. And the cool thing is, these get listed in, in Smuggler's Cove and quite a few tiki books. I'm really impressed by that. I, you know, before I got into sort of tiki cocktails, like UK tiki cocktails, about 10 years ago, you know, I'd not really heard of stuff like this, bitterments and all that. I've had this bottle probably about three years, four years, or it's the second bottle of this. Um, yeah, I'm quite impressed that they've been around that long. Right, tiki bitters. Trevor, if you've got, Trevor Rose, if you've got, I'm sure you have, if you've got the tiki bitters, that, or Trevor, Tre Trevor V even. That now just kind of, Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous now. Oh, maybe, maybe two more. Four more. <laughs> Four more drops. Oh, that is really good. Oh, she's, oh, she's coming back, look. I want to try, I want to try. Come on in. Right, RDA. We're going to, while she's demolishing that off, It's all right, but it was better before. Oh, pipe down, disappear. I'm going. <laughs> it was better before. Um, so RDA, right? I'm sure, RDA, you must have one of these. Right, this is what I'm talking about. This, oh, no, no, no. What, leave sight? No, cancel, don't leave sight. Cancel, cancel, cancel. <gasps> oh, we nearly killed the live stream then, Jesus Christ. Where did that come from? How did I do that? Right. Um, RDA, where are we? RDA, RDA, RDA. Right, RDA, RDA. I want you, right, you must have one of these in your house right now. You must have a bit of sugar in your house right now. And you must have a rum. Even, even if it's a spiced rum, right? What I want you to do, RDA, I want you to do this right now for me. I want you to juice a lime, Squeeze a whole lime into a glass. You don't have to shake it if you don't want it. It's better shaken, but if you can't be faff to shake it, don't worry, just get some ice and stir it. Juice a lime. For you that has never had a daiquiri before, I would go almost equal measures of sugar syrup. Or if you're feeling brave, do slightly less sugar syrup if you're feeling brave. But if it's your first time, I would go equal measures of sugar to lime. And then, and then whatever you've done in that, say if you've done 25 mil of lime, then do 50 mil of rum. Yeah, so double up that. So do a, like a 211 or a 422, whatever you want to call it, uh, ratio. I want you to do that now for me. Do it, RDA. And uh, you, you gave me your list of spiced rums there. I would go, I would actually say, if you haven't got real rum, I would say go red leg, because red leg is probably the less sweet one you've got out of the lot. They will all work, they will all be really, really nice, but red leg will be the less sweeter one uh, for there. And I want you to make a daiquiri, and I want you to say to everyone, uh, what you think of it down there. So get on it. Right. So that's an RDA. Trevor V. Uh, me using pineapple juice probably helped. Less sweet than the puree. Da, 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 da. Ash. Yep. Yep. Boom. There we go. Helped the mouthfeel too. Muddled pineapple didn't do anything. Yeah. Muddled pineapple. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure he doesn't do that. I'm just pretty sure he's written that because not many people that have pineapple puree at home. Uh, right, I got them. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I forgot you did that. <laughs> Fair point. <laughs> right, those tiki bitters are another level. They are really good, aren't they, Mark SH? Really, really good. Right, RDA, I have to admit, I do enjoy spiced rum. The actual rums, what well, I have to admit, I do enjoy spice drums. The actual rums, one, I haven't tried. And two, the ones I didn't enjoy. Mount Gay is the only one. Okay. Claire. <laughs> she wouldn't have known any different unless she'd watched it. If I gave her that cocktail glass again, she would just say, oh, it's the same as what it was before. 
excuse me, the three <laughs> rumpkateers. <laughs> yeah, we like that. Paul, uh, RDA, right, my comment. <laughs> yes, come on, RDA, come on. I want you to make a daiquiri if you've not done it. Hey, Candlefire, how are you? RDA, I want you to do, so yes, RDA, right. If you've got a measure, then do it that way. 25 mil of lime, 50 mil of that. Sugar syrup, look, if, if I was, look, if I was making it for me, I would do half the amount of sugar syrup to lime juice. So I'd do say like 15 mil, right? But as it's your first time, I don't want you to go, oh no, it'd be too citrusy. So if you're feeling brave, do 15 mil of, like, of sugar syrup. Um, and then try it. You can always add a bit too much, a bit more sugar if you want to. But start off with 15 mil. But if you, I'm pretty much guessing that you might need a bit more sugar. But with red leg, don't. It's it's a sweeter spiced rum anyway. Not as sweet as DMF. Not as sweet as Rum Bullion. But it's still a sweeter spiced rum. We are all waiting. You've got you've got the world of YouTube and a few. I don't know how many is on Facebook, but a few on Facebook waiting to hear what you think of this daiquiri RDA. Daqu RDA. This live stream is now all about you at home. It's not about us. We're all waiting for you. We're waiting for the magic comments to come up and say, "Oh, I really like that." <laughs> so come on, RDA. <laughs> Don't hold this live stream up. Come on, let's get crack on. Right, I tell you what, I'm just going to wash up. Anything on? Oh, those tiki bitters, they're really, really good. Really good. Right, I'm just going to quickly wash these down. I notice every time I go and wash up, I lose about five people. <laughs> people are just like, oh, he's gone, he's gone. I was going to take, like, I've got mint and garnish. I was going to take photos of all these, but, you know, I never bother. Come on, RDA. What's, what's keeping you, RDA? What's keeping? I haven't got lime or sugar syrup. Oh, RDA. You disappoint me. You dis you, you've just disappointed the whole world. There's a, you were talking a good game. You even asked for the recipe, and then you turn around and say, I haven't got it. I haven't got lime, and I haven't got... How? You, you must have some sugar in your cupboard, and you must have... Like, you can't have spiced rum in the house and not have lime. How does that even work? Of course, you've got to. You've got to. <laughs> RDA, where do you live? Remind me where you live. <laughs> All piled around Claire's house. Right. We shall then, in that case, if he's got no lime, he's just, he has, he's just, he's just messing about. Right. Uh, for this one then, which one is it? We need to go that one. Oh, I need to get rid of the comments as well. Tiki, tiki, bang, bang. Right, hide that. So... Uh, graphics, tiki tiki bang bang, there we go, back to the chat. So, this one, with its rum base and spice notes, juices and syrups, this is a modern take on a classic tiki style. Uh, watch out, it has packed, which like read it over the top of the camera, you can read that, I'm sure you can. So, ingredients for this one, RDA. I've always had spiced rum and coke, that's it. RDA, you've spiced rum and coke, put a couple of wedges of lime in your spiced rum and coke, that's even better. <laughs> Come on, get some limes. Just have some limes in your house. Spiced rum, coke, a couple of wedges of lime. That's even better than just spiced rum and coke. Come on, RDA. Come on. <laughs> Alho, you tell him. You tell him. <laughs> What's this? Hey, Jackie, how are you? What's Jackie saying? I had the same props earlier. I went to the coconut rum, strawberry puree, and one and the rum ran out of lime. Oh, Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. I didn't know lime made it better. Lime, you've got to have RDA. RDA, you've been following me for flipping ages. Ages and ages and ages. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what do I say in most videos each and every week? Lime juice and citrus. Lime juice and a kind of little bit of sweetness elevates the flavours of the base spirit. It's why daiquiris, it's why we try rums with as daiquiris, it's why daiquiris, margaritas, uh, gin, the Collins and all that, for, mules and everything, they just go with lime. It's just the thing. Margaritas, you know, the best way to drink tequila is like a margarita, is lime, it's the citrus that brings out the flavour. Come on, RDA. <laughs> Bants, right, bless him, bless him, bless him. Right then. So, tiki tiki bang bang. I'm going back to the. Should I mix it up a bit? What other ingredients in this? I was going. It says gold rum. I reckon. I reckon I'm going for a bit of Jamaican funk in this. I reckon. I reckon. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go Angostura 12 for this. Or should I go Angostura Signature? Let's go Angostura Signature. Let's just do that. Let's, let's not, let's not waste the decent, the real decent stuff. Let's, but we want a tiny bit. I'm going a bit of Jamaican funk, so a bit of gold rum. Oh, Bob's. Oh, Bob's. Rossi B. First, oh, first time trying. This is a da Sorry, I thought that was the first time trying a daiquiri. Sorry, sorry, Rossi B. <laughs> right, 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 right. So, uh, sorry, it's my members in the Discord. So we're going for uh, rum. I'm going to make a rum for this. We've gone back to the, the dark room rum again. So we've got black there, Goslings, Angostura bitters. I've got mango. Uh, this is one that says mango. I'm sure it says mango syrup. Yeah, it's got mango syrup on the recipe. So that is, I know. I'm pretty sure, I'm 99.9% .9 sure he uses uh, real mango in this. Uh, so that will be very much the equivalent. It's exactly the same sort of thing, just different brand. Um, cinnamon and agave. We've got a bit of uh, Georgie Porgy, William Fox's cinnamon syrup. We've got uh, my new posh agave from Monin. Monin, Monin. Uh, another lime. And we're back to the orange and the pineapple juice. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine ingredients. Oh, it's a bit different to the old woo-woo with three in it and sex on the beach and all that. Right. So, 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 we've got that. How much lime juice do we want? Uh, 30 ml of lime. Better, better chop another lime in half then, isn't it? Right, let's get that ready. Boom. Right, there we go. Jobs are good. Is it just turned? Yes, yeah, just turned nine o'clock. Look, we've just lost half the audience. What's on at nine o'clock on a Sunday? SAS, who dares? Is that what is that nine o'clock is? <laughs> right. Paul, they're chatting. I'm off to Tesco's tomorrow. Oh, going OFT. Oh, going OFTD. Sunday fun day, innit? Why not? Why not, Trevor? Why not? Let's go, let's go OFTD. Is that, do you agree with my recommendation for Appleton? Did he say anything about the Appleton? Calls for rum detention. Oblivion. Hey, Oblivion, how are you? Uh, no, he, he doesn't He doesn't say anything about my um, vigil is on BBC at nine. Is that what it, I don't know, what's vigil? <laughs> Who knows? I'm gonna stick with the Appleton signature blend on this one. I'm just, I'm just gonna do that, so let's do that. Right, let's put all these, let's get rid of that before Ross starts whinging again. Uh, so that one could go back. Ross, you're blocking up the screen, you're blocking up the screen. Well, what time are we going back to the hotel? I've got to do, go and do my hair and makeup before we go out next Monday night, you know. <laughs> you comedian. We go out at eight in the morning, we get back at like two in the morning, don't we? Right. Private in joke. So, 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 40 ml of gold rum. Pop. Come here. 40 ml of gold rum. Oh, I've got my chat closed. Open up the chat. There we go. Yep, there we go. Fourth, not Vigil Van Dyke. <laughs> so, 40 ml of, uh, as I say, I'm going to make him rum for this. I think that'll give it quite a nice little edge to it. Uh, Trevor Rose is uh, a bad influence. He wants some OFTD, so we've gone OFTD, and it was 20 mil of this. I'll tell you what, Mummy B will be legless after this one, won't she? Bloody hell. Right. Uh, what are we on to next? Mango puree. 20 mil of mango puree. So this will be virtually identical because, as I say, I'm sure he uses Real. It is sugar based syrup that he uses or puree that he uses. So. Uh, this will be like for like. So we're going 20 mil of mango. Dun, 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 dun. Right, and then we get onto this stuff. Angostura, this was two dashes. So because it's a new bottle, it might have to be three or four dashes. One, two, oh no, that's all right, three dashes. Uh, cinnamon syrup, 10. 15 mil cinnamon. Whoa, that's a lot of cinnamon, isn't it? 15 mil cinnamon. Five mil of agave and nectar. Quite like this stuff. I've got, I've still got, I've lied, it's gone to drink stuff. The, the, um, that's why I've got this one here. The um, funky agave one that I was using is gone to drink stuff. So, but this is really good. So five mil, we better do a bar spoon for that. Uh, what's that? Get off. There we go. Right, five mil bar spoon of agave. 
Uh, and then we're going 30, 30, 30. Cool. Lots of, lots of citrus in this. 30 mil of citrus. Dun, 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 dun. Right, that's one, two. Pour that in there. Cool, all these limes. I'll tell you what, it's nice doing those 25 pound haul videos for drink stuff, because now I've always got limes about the house. <laughs> right, so, oh, that's bang on. Oh, slightly under, slightly, slightly, slightly under. Have I got another, can I get, can I get another two mil out of, oh yeah, there we go, look. Another two mil out of that one. Right. Boom. That's that. Uh, let's put that and then 30 mil of uh, orange juice. And then 30 mil of pressed pineapple juice. Boom. Right. This one was a crushed ice jobby, wasn't it? Crushed. Yes. Crushed ice. So we shake with normal ice. Do -do 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 -do. Shake with normal ice. And then we give it welly for Damo that's going to watch back tomorrow all the way in China. Guangzhou. Right, uh, I see questions. I'll come back to them in a second. Right, uh, I'm going for this glass. I kind of like it. It's one of my favourite sort of tiki glasses. We like this one. Bamboo cooler, we like that. Well, it's quite, quite orange. Uh, Orange heavy, that one, and crushed ice. I've got it ready, but it's here. So it doesn't melt by the time it gets to the end of the old live stream. Crushed ice. Yeah, boom, look at that. Crushed ice, there we go. No bitters in this. Mango, oh yeah, Angostura bitters, sorry. Right then. I have to say, I think the OFTD kills it. <laughs> I think the OFTD is way too overpowering to this now. It takes away from the fun fruitiness of it. I think, I think a normal sort of darker rum would have been better in that. Although it's kind of like 90 mil of juice. I don't know, I'm not sold by that. What do we, what do we reckon, chaps? who's making this at home. Uh, I'll go back for it, you might have already said. I don't know, Trevor's, the two Trevor's, what do we reckon? Cinnamon, mango, I don't know. I think it's the rum, I think it's the OFTD. I th I, I th it's not a harmonious blend anymore. Right. Um. Uh, whatever was on at nine o'clock is obviously finished because everyone's come back now. Perhaps everyone went for a wee break at nine o'clock. Right, Claire. Claire, my favourite. Look at Claire, look. I'm on her big T. Big T? Big TV. Uh, oh, white right, Appleton signature myself. Okay, so Trevor, 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 what do we reckon to that? I will do. You'll do Ross's hair or my hair? Wait, it won't take you long to do my hair. I've got a bit. Uh, right, so Oblivion, I was in Cornwall, was hoping to bump into you. <laughs> I'm not down in Cornwall, unfortunately. Oh, Trev Trevor Rose has done the Tiki Tiki Bang Bang. There's a photo that slid into my DMs, slid into our Discord channel, so I'll show you that in a minute. Right, Candle Fire, what is our agave nectar? Basically, you know what tequila comes from? Our ga our ga our agave? Uh, agave, agave plant. So. Turn that, instead of distilling it, turn it into a syrup and you've got agave syrup. So um, this will be pretty much the brand that you'll see in most supermarkets, that. And to be fair, that's nectar, whereas this is syrup or sugar, effectively. So it's a bit, you know, agave nectar is going to be like maple syrup, proper maple syrup is going to be completely different to the maple spice syrup we've got there. But agave nectar, it's just, you know, it comes from, it's a healthier sweetener that comes from the cactus, well, not cactus, but everyone thinks they're cactus plants, but the agave plant, where tequila comes from. But it's just a different form of sweetness. It's really, really nice. <coughs> 
So that's what that is what agave is. Uh, right, Rossi, Rossi B, getting haircuts, so there won't be much there. Yeah, I better do mine as well before next week. So for those of you kind of working out, there's me, I don't know, there's, there's definitely five or six of us. I'm, I'm not sure if Rachel and Kevin are still on tonight, but they're out as well. Uh, Claire's out, uh, Ross Barber's out, uh, Mark, uh, Mark is out with us next month. I'm not sure who else. Who else is out next Monday and, and Sunday? Sunday night and Monday. Let me know. Let me know. Right. Uh, Paul, Paul, Paul. Paul, have you just binned off your friends that are around your house? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not tuning in tonight because I've got friends around for a bit of an impromptu piss up. He spends half the night on chat. <laughs> Love it, do you? Okay, Trevor, amuse me. Or oh, is it in your photos? What's mango? What mango syrup have you used, Trevor? Uh, need to go into a different one. Live show. Yeah, you don't show me, Trevor. What's what's your mango? What what mango have you used? This is this is Trevor Rose's uh, tiki tiki bang bang. I tell you what, he's on point, isn't he? He's just got to learn to take a decent photo, a decent angle, and he'd be all over Instagram. He'd blow up. But unfortunately, he's you kind of need you kind of need to tilt. Look at it like that. Look. <laughs> Bless him. He can't do everything, can he? <laughs> oh, it makes me giggle. Makes me laugh. I love rinsing my members because they they rinse me back. Oh, look out! What's he done now? He's uploaded a gif. A gif. What's he saying? Oh, what's this? It's not. It's a photo. No calorie. No calories and no skin. We get that. I. I'm, I've got a funny feeling drink stuff have got some of that and I refuse to uh, um, rate it I refuse to do videos about it I've got a funny th feeling it's the same brand skinny syrups <laughs> no sugar that's probably why you like it I, 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 I'm, this is not working for me not right yeah although I have to say, the more she's not coming in, she's obviously what well, I don't know what's on TV, but I have to say, the more the longer I leave it, dilution with the crushed ice, actually, that little bit of extra dilution is kind of helping it go down a little bit. So we might, I don't know, might give it five minutes or so. It might be a better cocktail. What did Paul say? Paul said he would have swapped some quantities round of the agave and cinnamon. Yeah, that might be it as well. To be fair. A bit too cinnamon heavy. Here she comes. Here, here, here comes the professional taster. Her little eyes. She's like stumbling in side to side. What's wrong with that? Oh, okay. If she likes that. <laughs> I, the, the dilute, it's a lot different. It's diluted a lot, a lot now. Mm, that's nice. To how it was. You like that, do you? Yeah. Okay. What's your, your favourite? Middle, Middle one. That one. Yeah. There you go. You've heard it. Officially. Georgie Radev, officially. That is the best cocktail. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, rightly, wrongly, Plantation OD. That would have been a good, good shout. Yeah, I, th I, I think I would have... I, I think, if I'm honest, I think I shouldn't have used the IFTD. I would have gone those two. Uh, either of those two. But Gosling's or that. I think that would have been the best way to do that. I, I reckon there's something a bit different with your mango so it's just not I think it's kind of sweet to be honest yeah it's just not the dilution is helping the crushed ice the more it's in there the crushed ice is helping it's just not quite there at the moment Rapunzel da, da, da. Ross, Ross is flirting with Claire <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. Ross is in the Discord. Right, sorry. Sorry, I'm not being distracted. They're, they're having banter with me. Some of them are having banter with me in the Discord as opposed to having banter with me live on screen there. <laughs> right, Trevor. Oh, I, Kevin's back in the house. Mm, yeah. Right. Kevin is just parking the truck. We'll be indoors in the second half. Banter starts. I've, I've finished now, Kevin. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm not going anywhere yet. 
Uh, right, Mark SH. I'm in Cornwall next weekend. Woohoo! Where about to Cornwall are you going, Mark? I tell you what, I keep going, I keep sipping it though. I think actually. <laughs> no, I do prefer that one. I need to keep sipping on this one. This one's better. Ah, oh, Rach, we can't meet. We can't wait to meet you as well. Hell, what's a huge volume? It's a huge volume. Couldn't even fit in all my highball without any ice. What this drink? Barbs. They're talking about hair. What are, are you talking about hair products? What are you talking about? What's drier? Oh, they're talking about Appleton rum. The dry. I thought they were talking about hair products then. <laughs> Jackie, skip me syrup. More agave. See, I, I like these. I like these kind of in-depth reviews. More agave. A bit too sweet. Maybe, yeah. Maybe mango nectar with a flash blended. Ah, uh, you see, I think that's what it is with this. I, th I think, right, and I've got a bit of crashed ice left. I think if I top that with crashed ice, I don't think uh, Paul's saying uh, more, um, as in more sweetness. I think he's saying for swapping it around. So more agave and less cinnamon. I think that's what Paul meant for that, uh, which I'd... You know, I, I do like the cinnamon bite to it, but I, I think it just needs, because you flash blended, I think it just needs a little bit more dilution. I think we might be onto a winner there. Right. Yeah, see, it's better now. It's getting better. That's actually so different. It's such a different cocktail. Now that there's more ice, more kind of slightly more dilution going into that cocktail, it's such a different drink. I would say that's a hundred times different to what it was when I first made it. I actually really, really like that now. That ice. I'm just gonna leave it for a little bit longer, just to kind of see how see how more more flavor comes out the sort of cloy cloy sort of mango kind of disappears a little bit now the ice is there right is the real no what on monday no i'm not letting her out to play down in london jesus christ <laughs> you could babysit her if you want <laughs> uh Right, flash, flash blend dilutes it quicker. Yeah, don't forget. If I caught up with the chat, wow. Uh, don't forget to take photos next weekend. So I can't make it. Ah, oh, we'll do we'll do live streams just to the Discord. We'll have we'll have the Discord uh, video chat going. How's how's about that? Is that it? Have you got no more banter for it with me? Am I am I that up to date with the banter? How am I? How did last week and the week before take? Three hours to do three cocktails, and this week it's taken an hour and ten minutes to do three cocktails. What are we going to talk about now for another hour? <laughs> uh, don't worry, the forty of you, right? Forty people. There's there's forty. No one on Facebook, which is quite good. We don't want, we don't like Facebook anyway. So I want to see all forty of you in the comments. Forty people in the comments. Say hello now. If you've never commented in this stream before uh, comment now I want to see different names I want to see new names uh, and we want to meet new people every week there's one more brave soul that gets involved that have been watching for weeks and weeks and they just pop up and they'll go oh yeah hello I've been watching for a few weeks if that's you comment this week say hello introduce yourself oh look out they're all going hello see Nick Nick's like a newbie this week look Nick hello Nick Walpole again right uh, so if you're if you're new if you've been watching for two or three weeks now and you've never put a comment in, put a comment in now. Introduce yourself. This lot, this lot are friendly. They want to meet you. Uh, <laughs> hang on, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. I, I think I've missed comments or something. What's going on? 
Uh, what's, what's Trevor V getting plexed about now? Where is he? Anger go. What does he mean? Anger goes up, goes quick when you skip every other message. What? What have I skipped? I don't know. What have I missed? I don't think I missed anything, had I? What have I missed? I don't understand. Don't understand, Trevor V. Don't understand. Right. Banter, that is. Ah, uh, okay. Trevor, Trevor. Right. Because you're teaching us. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Good answer. Good answer. We like that. Amber. Hey, Amber. How are you? I know you've commented before, but you're kind of a newbie commenter ish. Ish. Candlefire. Hello from Essex. Noob Nick. <laughs> see, that's better. People want to say, Amber, see, all these people can say, you can make new friends. Amber, where are you? I'm, I'm pretty sure you've told me this before, but Amber, where are you in the world? I bet, I bet you're probably somewhere exotic like Hertfordshire. Amber, Amber from Hart, no, Amber from Hertfordshire, that don't sound right. Amber from Middlesex, that's what I'm going for. Brian, there we go, look, there's another one. Hello, Brian, Steve Taylor, look at all this, look, Steve Coogan, right, Steph Coogan's, right, sorry, whoa, 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 right, we're going to have to, we're going to have to say hello to people, aren't we? Right, who do we get to? When do we get to? Rachel, just having, just making a mojito after his long weekend. I can tell what you guys have done really well this weekend with your mobile bars, haven't you? You've, you've done exceptionally well, late bookings and all that. How did today's go? Was that that was the car, the VW meetup or whatever it was? That looked really good. Right, Steph. So oh, sorry, I've skipped Pat. I'll come back to you, Steph. Pat, watching Love Island, Love Island reunion. How can they have a reunion? I only finished last week, didn't it? Hey, they can't have a reunion already. It has to be like six months from now, surely. Steph, first time watching tonight. Hey, Steph. Steph, let us know where you are in the world uh, and. Lovely to meet you. Steph, why are you here? What's your favourite spirit? Are you here for rum? Uh, have you found my porn star videos? Or why, 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 why are you here, Steph? Why? Let us know. Hopefully you're here for rum. Steve. What's Steve saying? Steve Taylor. I've been watching on and off. Love the show. Have a sweet tooth. Old flavoured Sailor Jerry. Old Sailor Jerry. Yes. Uh, cool. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Steve. Steve, where are you in the world? Is it another Wiltshire? Who else was in Wiltshire? Someone else from Wiltshire. Do you know each other? Who's in Wiltshire? Uh, da, 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 da. Ross teaches pet. <laughs> See, that's just what we like. They're all, they're all having bants with each other. <laughs> Amber. Oh, see, Amber, been watching for a while. Not, just not brave enough to comment. Come on, Amber. They'll, they'll make you feel welcome. <laughs> See, and Trevor, look, they're all there saying hello. There's no need to be. Look, I'm the stupid mug putting my face on TV or putting on YouTube every single week. And there's nothing to be worried about. It's all fun and giggles, isn't it? You're just, you're just hiding. You got your little keyboard, just typing stuff. Just say hello, meet people. Where are you, Amber? Let us know. Uh, Rich got home at 2 a.m. this morning after a very good wedding. Then 8 a.m. start. Oh, you've got the rest of the week off now, though, haven't you? Part time is you don't do anything Monday to Friday. <laughs> Ask questions, yes. Worcester, Steve from Worcester. There we go. It was Winchester. Yeah, no, I know Nick. I know Winchester, but it was someone else from Winchester. Or oh, was it not? Or have I got... Sorry, Wiltshire, Winchester. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Close. I get what you're saying. Close. Winchester, Wiltshire. Close. Very, very close. <laughs> Oops, my bad. <laughs> Getting overexcited about the WIs and the Worcesters. Kevin's finally made his mojito. Trevor. So for those the noobs, you've obviously watched before. I think you've have watched. So you know the two Trevors are in Canada. Uh, who else have we got? Most everyone else is kind of UK based, I think. Uh, Amber's in Warwickshire. Okay, Middlesex to Warwickshire. I got that miles wrong, but Cole, Warwickshire, we like that. Steph's in Portsmouth. I was down there. Steph. Is is uh, is is Jonathan in tonight? Jonathan, if you're in the house, say hello. If you're working, uh, Jonathan's got a pub down in Portsmouth. Uh, built a bar earlier this year. I don't know what pub he's got. He never tells me. <laughs> he won't let me in. <laughs> but I was down in Portsmouth um, start of August, some month ago. I was going to say a couple of weeks ago. Bloody month ago now. So cool. Uh, 
found you on Facebook and then said more people watching on YouTube. Yes, so YouTube, YouTube's where all the fun is, where all the fun and bants are. No, good, damn right it's not on the BBC. <laughs> <laughs> if this was TV, I'd be our famous. You would. There'd be you. We'd have a second screen hookup. This is Trevor. Trevor Rose commenting live from uh, Cal, where, where the hell are you from? I was going to say Calgary, though, but I know where you're from. Uh, in Canada, we should do live link-ups every week. The two Trevors, the two your neighbours, still two hours away from each other. <laughs> uh, right. I've just Moxie. Just had a daiquiri. Oh, Kirkland Spice. Do you know what? I've not tried that from Costco. Don't know if you've ever tried it. No, I haven't. 1.75. Wow. Okay. Kirkland Spiced. Nice. Claire, apparently, apparently, you, but no, apparently about it. You flipping do live next door to Master and Malt. <laughs> What's the pub? Steph, I have no idea. He never tells me. I get, I've asked him three times and I was down there. He never tells me. He was like, I'll come and meet you. I was just like, well, tell us what your pub's name's called and we'll come. He's one of my uh, members, one of my legends. Uh, and no one, I don't know, is, is he told anyone, Legends, has he told anyone what his pub's called? I don't know, he never tells me. I think he's too shy to let us in there just in case we, uh, we cause trouble. <laughs> yes. Right, I close to, what? Oh, hang on, that's the one I was commenting on. Trevor V. We should do this one day. This would be really closer to Christmas or kind of in the depths when it's been. We should do this. We should do like um do exclusively for leggings, exclusively for members, because I've got a little button down here I can bring on just in here, just in this software alone. I can send you links. I can have 10 people on. 10 little faces. We can do little 10 10 people uh conversation. So we could do that. That that could be kind of fun. Uh, but yeah, I can get on to, I don't use it, but I can use, uh, uh, what's it called? Streamlabs, OBS, and we could have multiple, we could have as many cameras as we want on there. But this this software just makes it easy. I'll just send a link to you, and all 10 of you, 10 of you can come on. That'd be kind of fun, wouldn't it? Uh, Red Deer, so that's where they are. Who else have we got in there? We have seen your screens, Trevor V. Steve needs some tips. Who said that? Kevin, pipe down, pipe down, Mears, pipe down. <laughs> See, this is really, really tasty now. That extra dilution, I take it back about the rum. The flavours all really, really come out now. The mango's dialed down. The cloying sweetness is gone. It's still got the punch to it. But it's in the, the slight bit of dilution, that's made it a 10 times better drink. I really like that now. That potentially actually might be my favourite of the night. I think that is now my favourite one of the night. Mm. Right. Who else is watching in a Hawaiian shirt? Send the photos. Tag me on Instagram. Better still, buy my stuff. Go and join the membership. <laughs> no, you don't have to. I'm joking. I'm joking. Five pounds a month gets you access to banter, doesn't it? Uh, come and come and join us. Come and join us in the old Discord. <laughs> Buy my stuff. Make me rich. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, what's this? I thought I had enough stock to start. Uh, I know. I, th I thought Claire had it. Yeah. She flipping has. She flipping lives next door. She, I tell you, she lives in there. Might be not. Oh, I love the banter. The banter's flying through now. This is really cool. Uh, I'm getting there, Paul. Eight new rums this week. Eight. Oh. I'm a bit tired and settled down. Trevor Beachwacker. Who, who said that? Trevor. Trevor Rose. I want to redo the Beachwacker with Jiffard. Oh. Oh, hang on. We can do that. Trevor, talk me through your thinking. So. We can do that live because we've got the pineapple Giffard, haven't we, young Trevor? We've got the pineapple Giffard right there. Talk me through your thinking here. So, I used 15 ml of pineapple puree. So I'm assuming you mean get rid of the pineapple puree. Hang on, let me, let me do this so people can actually see. Right, Claire's Enchanted Distilleries. 
M M M. Go for it. Right, Trevor, talk, talk to me. Talk to me, Trevor. So gold rum. I, this was the one I did Bacardi for this, didn't I? Uh, and I did I did this. Let me get all the, let me get all the ingredients back out, and then we'll go from there. Apricot, vanilla. Apricot, vanilla. Or jat, spiced maple, spiced maple, or jat, or jat. Uh, lime, lime and tink, right, lime and tink, right. Can we all see that on screen? Yes, we can. So, hang on, is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, eight ingredients, Trevor. Right, remove the pineapple puree. Removed. Add... Use liqueur, yeah, and five mil. So 15 mil, well, bearing in mind these are 20 mils. So 15 mil, are we saying that? Are we saying 15 mil of that and five mil of sugar? Is that what we're saying? Speak now or forever hold your peace. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, put, I'll do these ingredients first. And then by the time we get to it, you can have 15. Right, he's on it, he's on it, he's on it. Right, I need to do a quick wash up, don't I? George, Georgie Radev won't mind, we're just making his recipes better. <laughs> sorry Georgie, sorry. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, 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 dear. It's a good job I don't know him. <laughs> right, so, uh, Four, yeah. So four, 40 mil of Bacardi. Come on, I'm going to need a new bottle of this soon now. I'll, I'll tell you, I'm going to fly through these two Bacardis. They they will potentially, oh, Jamaican. That might have been a bit interesting with Jamaican. What did you use? It's a clean, it's a clean thing. Before I go any further, Trevor, let's get on the same page here so we can kind because I know we're going to use roughly the same ingredients except for, the, for that. Uh, what what gold rum did you use? If it's better, you could put it in your book. <laughs> I can just see it now. The title, Beach Whacker, but better. <laughs> oh, we can't do that. We can't do that. We get sued. Uh, Trevor Rose, gold rum. What gold rum did you use? Come on, don't don't faff around. Come on. The the whole the whole of the BBC, you know, millions and millions of people are waiting for you, Trevor. Oh, I've got the WhatsApp going on. Who's hit me up in WhatsApp? Oh, Mark. Mark, Mark SH. Mark, why are you not in the Discord? Mark, come and join us in the Discord. There we go. Mark SH. Trevor, Trevor Rose. That's how you take a photo. Look. Look at that. Look. Oh, Mark, he's on it. Any? He? Come on, Trevor. Up your photo game. <laughs> Mark, you need to get involved in the Discord more. People miss you. They want to chat with you. Right. Did Trevor comment? I use Plantation 2003. Oh, well, I ain't got that, have I? Um, Sodger, I'm going to stick with what is it? 99 proof, 50 proof, 50 ABV. What have I got? It's 50 ish. What have I got? Have I got anything in mid 40s? The Lovers is mid 40s. I know that. What else have I got? They're all 40s. They're all 40 percenters. Why are you doing that to me, Trevor? Why Why would you do that? Why, why, why would you do that? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Because you've used 40 mil, I'm assuming, of a 50 proof. Trevor V, don't listen to Trevor too. <laughs> oh, Jamaican. All right, okay. Okay. I, tell you, I was going to use a bit of Picardi 8. I'll tell you what I will do. I will add... I will add 10 mil of Appleton 12, which is a 43. There we go. And that'll, it won't be your 50% ABV. I know you're talking proof, like 100 proof, but it won't, it won't quite be that, but it'll be close-ish, all right? So, right, we are back to where we were now. So, um, I just did the rum. Uh, so, pineapple, we're going for 15 mil of pineapple. Uh, Jafant, Caribbean pineapple. Uh, we are then going to add five mil of gom. Perfect. Right, five mil of gom. 
Job's good. Right, now we're back to the, how the recipe was. So, uh, vanilla was 20, 20 mil. Oh, there's another new, oh no, I've seen you comment before, Ant Army UK. You have commented before, but you're not a frequent commenter, not a frequent flyer. Hang on, I'll read that in a minute. I'll read that in a minute. 20 mil of whatever this is in my hand. I've forgotten what it'll be. Apricot. Yep. 10, 10 mil of orgeat. Look at me, look. I've learned to say it properly now. Orgeat. <laughs> what was it? 10 mil. 10 mil, yep. I still want to call it orgeat. I'm going to create my own orgeat. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, right? I've got a video that I'm sort of filming tomorrow about syrups. What syrups I think you need for your home bar. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to create my own orgeat, my own syrup. It's going to be a blend of orgeat and macadamia nut, and I'm going to call it orgeat. <laughs> That's so it's going to be orgeat. Right, that is officially what orgeat is going to be called. That could be orgeat or orjo, and then orgeat. <laughs> oh, did I put that in? I'm chatting too much now, forgetting what I'm doing, forgetting what I'm doing. Use, see, Trevor, I'm already one step ahead of you. I already did use that. Right, 10 mil of that, 25 mil of lime juice. So I need uh, that. I need to cut another, another lime. God, all these limes are gone through. Let's cut that in half. Are we gonna hit? Oh yeah, just oh. all these limes. Yeah, you know, someone on the drink stuff uh, live feed on Friday. We were chatting. I forget who it was. Now I was chatting to someone about limes and how many limes we go through. And I randomly said they were, they were talking about the bottled lime. I forget who it was now. Someone we know. Uh, I was chatting about the amount of limes and stuff that you know, people go through. And I said, your average kind of lower volume bar, cocktail bar, will do about easily 100 limes on a Friday night, easily. And they were like, absolutely no way. Me, on the life, I've only made four cocktails, look at all this. Well, five of you include the daiquiri earlier. I mean, look. <laughs> people live in a little dream world, don't they? All those limes you go through. Right, lime juice, and then it's tink. So, ice, ice up. Da, 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 da. Ice, ice, ice. Sorry, Damo. Damo gets all upset if I don't do that. Damo in China. Right. Uh, oh, we got a bamboo cooler. We can do that. I'm just going to do a shake and dub. Oh, no, we need the ting, don't we? I'm going to do a... I'm going to do a strain. I'm going to do a strainy, strainy. I'm going to use the rest of this ice that's virtually melted. And that'll do. And ting. Ting! Ting! Right, so this is Trevor Rose's new and improved beach whacker. Where's my straw? There it is. I will use this straw. Trevor Rose, what? Oh, he's already commented. Miles better. Not even needed the gum. We shall see if it's miles better, shall we? No offence, Georgie Radev. Miles better. That's proper tasty. I do like the gum, actually. Gum. Oh, you got me saying that. The gum. The cane sugar, that's what I used, cane. That is perfect. Mummy Balm, if you're still watching Mummy Balm and you've not on Country File or whatever's on, uh, now come and taste this. This is this is easily the best one of the night now. Oh, that's amazing. Easily my favorite of the night now. The pineapple, just that little hint of pineapple. I even like. I even do get a bit of Jamaica coming out. They didn't use much. Bit, bit of Jamaican. Oh, I like that. That's very, very good. 
How many times do we have to call Mummy Barman? I reckon she's not watching. She's kind of got me on. Yeah, I watched you. I watched you. I watched you. She comes later. She comes later. She, I can tell she's giving me a filthy look. Poking her little head up through the wall. You, can, you, you won't see it, but we've got like a, a door with like one of those little square windows at the top. And she's really short. And she's like... Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> This is Trevor Rose's cocktail. Nothing to do with me. If you don't like it, blame him. No, I do. Oh, she does. You're lucky. Oh, I ain't getting that back. <laughs> oh, I am. That is lovely. It's the best one, isn't it? Best one of the night. Try it, try that. Now that's diluted a bit more, try that. Mm. But I liked it before. But no, that's definitely the best one. Definitely. What are you watching in there? I can hear the TV. You're not watching me, are you? Yeah. No, you're not. I can hear the TV. I can hear the TV. Have a look. I'll stand here. You come and stand here. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, on I'm on the box. Right. Where do we get to in these comments? See, you're pointing now. Go to the comments. Look. Oh. Okay. All right. She's got. She's got me on the big screen TV. Yeah. Right, I need to go back to all these comments. Where do we go? You what, sorry? She made a wisecrack then. She gets all the banter from me. I've taught her well. <laughs> right. <laughs> banter aside, all these people are just kind of like, you know, if you ever seen, what's the, uh, like Bradley Walsh and um, Sun TV, the, you uh, Canadians and Americans, you won't know what I'm talking about, but the UK people, you know Bradley Walsh and Sun. I reckon we should do that. <laughs> Mummy Barman and son. That'd be hilarious, wouldn't it? Road trip in a cab van. <laughs> we should so do that. Cocktail bar crawl. <laughs> Why? Where do we get to? What does this say? I need to catch up with these comments again. Didn't you say that was a bit proofy? What's that mean? Bit proofy? Bit puffy? Proofy? What, what, what do we mean? What's, what was a bit proofy? The Appleton. Ah. No, that was a bit proofy, wasn't it? I know what you mean. A bit too much booze because I used the OFTD. I think that's what you mean. Right. Uh, Plantation Barbados. I saw that fly through. Jamaican overproof. We need to get... Right. Uh, Jamaican OP. Are you talking about Smith & Cross? Um, I'm assuming you're talking about Smith & Cross. We... I don't know what it is in the UK... It is never, like in Hamilton Rums as well, they've never really been a big thing in the UK. I would love to get Smith & Cross. I would absolutely, I've had it, I've had it multiple times. Really, like, it's kind of proper up there, Jamaican. It's like an, it is sort of an over, it's, I forget what it is now, 57, or whatever it is, 100, what were you talking, 104 proof or something? Or 100, I forget what it is now. What is it, 150? I've got 54 or 57 in my head. So it's either like 108 or 114 proof. Whatever it is, I would love to get Smith & Cross. I think it's a cracking uh, rum for the price. But it's just really not a thing in the UK. Not many wholesalers uh, and certainly not many bars in the UK would get it. And yet I think it's like, it kind of leads the way. It's like um, sort of a... Um, a proper Jamaican kind of rum. I've forgotten what we're talking about. Like pot still rum. I, I think it kind of leads the way in that, but we just don't get it. It really does annoy me. So I'm assuming that's what you're talking about there, Trevor. And by the time I catch up with the comments, I'll see it in like five minutes time and then I'll forget what I'm talking about. <laughs> right, Ant. Ant Army. Uh, bottled cold brew coffee for espresso martini instead of fresh. Uh... What does that mean? Bottled cold brew coffee for espresso. Oh, no, yeah, it doesn't matter either or because bottled cold brew will be sort of loosely espresso. <laughs> sort of. Give or take. Honestly, I, I really like cold brews. Um, as long as it's just a proper cold brew, there's nothing added to it, then yeah, it, it, it really doesn't matter. But cause proper cold brew is designed to be espresso that hasn't been brewed, if you know what I mean. So... Um, yeah, as long as it's proper, proper, then yeah, that'll work. Use your Appleton 12. See, we did. I'm already ahead of you, Trevor, even though you commented at 
20, what time did you come in? Hang on, I have to show that so I can see. 21.34, so nine minutes ago. I'm already ahead of you, Trevor. <laughs> nine minutes. How did I get nine minutes behind in the comments? Right. Uh, according to Smuggler's Cove, it's pronounced... Eh? What is? Oh, or she... Or she or just, sorry, it took me a while then to call on what I was talking about. Or, 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 how do you say the, I would say O-R-E is or. How are you saying the or? Or, 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 ja. or, ja. that sounds a bit posh, doesn't it? Or, ja. Ja, ja. or, ja. <laughs> I'm not calling it or, ja. <laughs> can, can, you imagine, can you imagine me on videos calling it or, ja. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen, is it? <laughs> Oh, Claire, I haven't opened my macadamia nut. Oh, Claire, you need to open your nuts. You need to get involved. Uh, oh, she. I tell, I tell you, Nick, it doesn't sound, it doesn't sound as dodgy as Orjar, does it? <laughs> uh, has anyone tried? Yes, I've tried a little bit. It's actually all right. Actually, it's, it's actually quite nice. It's quite quite decent. I haven't got it, and I, I won't be getting it. But yeah, it's it's kind of it's you know I do like the Red Legs. They they they're not as sweet as a lot of rums, and they're a pretty decent brand of um of spiced rums. My go-to spiced rums are these little bad boys here. That will always be my. But Hersty is like the boss of spiced rum flavors. Um, but yeah, there's nothing in there that's a tropical like Red Leg. Absolutely nothing. But you know. They're good, good. Right, Miles Better might not have even the gun. Oh, I saw that. That's when I was making. So I saw that. Jiffard, yeah, it does, doesn't it? I, I like that. That's, that's a good shout. There we go. You've probably already seen that because I'm like 10 minutes behind in the comments. But no. Um, I prob someone's probably already answered this. And I'm sorry if someone's sitting in the comments. But no. Um. Caramelised pineapple is a difference. So, um, red leg. Have they got four? Hang on. Mental block now. Red leg spiced. Red leg pineapple. Red leg tropical. Banana. Yeah, they have got four. They've got four. So, the red leg tropical is the newest one. Oh, it'd be close when the banana and the tropical came out. It'd be very, very close. I think the tropical is the newest one, just. But there was like a couple of months in it, if that. And da, 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 da. so, how short is Mummy Barman? She's four foot two, something like that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know actually. She's about here somewhere. So what's that? Five five foot five foot. I don't know what. I don't know. To be honest, I'm five ten. So oh, she's like here laughing. <laughs> I don't know. She she's about there somewhere. So what's that? Just I don't know. Five ten. I don't know. She's got to be five foot. She's got to be five foot. I don't know. I don't know. I'll get a tape measure out and I'll, I'll DM you. <laughs> I'll take a photo of her with a tape measure beside her head. There we go. <laughs> right. So I've just read the comment below. Yeah, the original and the pineapple one taste like melted fruit, salad sweets. I wasn't aware. This one, new flavour is just released. Yep. Right. Um, who's getting saucy? Is Claire, is Claire getting saucy? No, and I've missed it. I miss all, I, mean, I always miss the fun stuff. Uh, right, just picked up my first bottle of Plantation. Oh, Tiki. Oh, Tiki drinks at home. Hello, Tiki. Hello, mate. How are you? <laughs> Tiki, you, you, you know, you've heard me. You know exactly what that stands for, don't you? We can, we can chat about that. It doesn't stand for old fashioned traditional dark. It stands for old Philip. That's delicious. And it is, it is one of the nicest rums to drink neat. It is gorgeous. And I love the way that you have it neat, you add an ice cube, and then as the ice, it's proper geeky, but as the ice cube slowly melts, like every couple of minutes, it's different flavours that comes out. It's a stunning rum. It's that scary, like 69%, 70%, 70%, 138, 140 proof, you know. Oh, it's scary that it's that good. But that's why it's called OFTD. I'll flip, that's delicious. You know, oh, keep doing. Oh, that's what it is. It's the back button on my mouse. <gasps> Cancel. No, we don't want to leave a sign. Right. <coughs> uh, 
Uh, Ross, Ross has probably answered way before me uh, what I've just answered, but Paul, a tropical is different to pineapple, but I used pineapple with pinas. Yep, in pina. David, hello, David. Smith and Cross is one of my favourite rums. David, where are you? Are you in the UK? 57, yes, Mark S8. I, knew, I thought, I didn't imagine it was 57, but, you know, we can get it. It's just not regular supply. Um, it's just really, really annoying. That's all. You know, it's ne it's one of those that they'll get a shipment of maybe 12 bottles. Each supplier will get like 12, maybe, maybe a bit more than that, probably like 24 bottles or so. And then once it's sold out, it'll be another two months or so before they get it again. You know, it's not a permanent thing, which is really, really annoying. And I don't know whether it's anything to do with uh, the distillery and the importers or whether it's just the fact that it doesn't sell that much. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Oh, hang on. We got we got another. Oh, I recognise the name. I think you've commented before, but I'm going to call you a newbie. I'm South African bartender who really wants to work with you in terms of cocktails. That's nice. How do you mean? You can come come buy my stuff. Just come come and join us in the Discord. Buy my stuff. It's all there. Click the join button underneath. Come buy my stuff. <laughs> what is the bottle of Coca Canu? Oh, the yay. You're letting yourself down. You've won a new bottle. Uh, you're letting yourself down. You've not watched any of my videos. I thought we were friends, RDA. That is the elite of coconut rum. I don't care what the Americans have got. I don't care about their ship direct or whatever. That is the elite of coconut rums. No coconut rum you ever taste will ever be as good as that. It's made by Ray and Nephew for a start. It's a proper Jamaican, proper, proper rum. But it's 30%, uh, so proper, well, for the UK, proper full strength proof, 37.5%. We're allowed rum to be 37.5% in the UK, even though 40% elsewhere, blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, it's just the go-to coconut rum. If you drink that side by side with DMF, and I do like DMF for what they, what the price and what they're about. But even that's a bargain. Ross, if you're still alive, Ross, if you're still awake, let people know. Give them the daily, Ross is my go-to for daily um, offers and all that. You'll find that for 14 quid for you, because Ross is already on it. But honestly, the, the best coconut rum you will ever have. And I love Aluna as well. Aluna have sent me a few bottles. I have to give them some love. It's a very different coconut rum. It's more subtle. It's more laid back. Coca Canoes, bosh in your face. Bearing in mind, mind they are rum, not liqueurs. They are, they are not your Malibus, your Takamakas, your Kalanis. They are rum. Proper full strength. All right? So, yes, that's what that is. Uh, Jeff... Oh no, Trevor, sorry. Uh, hello to Jeff, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Tiki, but yeah, sorry, I, I should have done that. But um, Tiki drinks at home, he's a fun lad. Fun chap, old oh, Jeff, go and check him out. Hang on, what time? Whoa, 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 where, what time? Is it breakfast? Where are you? you you're Australia, aren't you? What time? Hang on, I'm all confused now. I'm really confused. I'm sure you're Australia. Where's, where's Jeff? Tiki Tree? He's, he's Australia. Surely. Surely. No, he can't be. He can't be. He's got to be America. I don't know. Oh, that's really bad. Really bad. Sorry, mental block. Too much rum. Too much chatting. As I get later, the more viewers are coming, the more viewers are on. <laughs> We've got more viewers now than what we did at nine o'clock. See, I'm great TV. I'm like the BBC. I get better with age. Right. Uh, RDA is coconut cheap. Yeah, see, Ross is on it, look. Oh, oh, Trevor V's. <laughs> Pronounce your dad to a T. Or, or, ja. Nicole. Hey, Nicole, how are you? OFTD. Oh. Watch funk. I've just skipped a couple of messages, but I'm really sorry. They're chatting to each other. That's cool. Definitely. Definitely a little burn. Just a, just a tiny little burn, mate. <laughs> Or, or, ja, or, or, za, or, or, not the zoo. What? Emphasis on the or, not the zoo. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Trevor, are you tipsy? Right. Uh, Azania Bantu. Bacardi rum, blue curacao, strawberry liqueur, tropical rum to cocktail. Yeah. Just those three. Bacardi, blue curacao, and strawberry liqueur. Just those three. Awesome. Blend that with a bit of crushed ice. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 red leg vanilla and ginger Steve. What? 
He's not meaning me, surely. Steve, okay, what? Cheers, oh yeah, Rockstar, my man go to. Nice, nice, nice. RDA must be selling well for them to keep making new rums, yeah. Come back here, sure. Oh, there's lots of banana notes coming off that now. Ooh, oh, that's a bit bizarre. Where the banana notes coming from? There's no banana in that. Hang on, what? Clay, you're five height. I've got your display. Oh, there it comes. You're five foot one and three quarters. What's, what's five foot one and three quarters? You're either five foot one or you're five foot two. Don't fart ass around with this point seven five of a one of a foot. You're short. I thought you were taller. I did my head. You were quite tall. Uh, bloody straw. I need a longer straw for this glass. Right, hide that. Jackie, Trevor's talking to Jackie. We don't need to show that. That's fine. Azania. What's, is that right? Is that how I'm saying that? Azania? Azania Bantu. Uh, tropical rum cocktails. Tropical cool orange juice. Blue. Blah, blah, blah. Tropical rum. That sounds cool. Jackie. Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. Trevor Rose was talking about the red leg. Cool, cool, cool. Claire Ross. Claire's getting kinky now. Claire's had a drink, so she's letting her dark side come out. <laughs> All five foot of her. <laughs> sorry, Claire, sorry. We'll have a cuddle next week, don't worry. Uh, let's see. Texas! Wow, hang on, sorry. I'm re I've got one comment up and they're reading the next one's coming up here. Mark, CM, Captain Morgan. Wow, David's in Texas. David, in Texas, right, in my head, David, in my head, Texas would be like a massive whiskey county. County, is that the right word? State, county, what are we, what's, state, Texas, state. Uh, so what, what's, you know, is that true? Is it what? It, it, Rum, whiskey, boy, what's the crack? Tequila. Tequila. It'll be but what we're talking about would be even bigger tequila, wouldn't it? Surely. Surely. What's the big go to drinks over there? Uh, Trevor. Smith and Cross here in Canada comes and goes. Think it's supply and demand. Yeah, I don't know much about the distillery to be honest. I don't know how how much output they have. Yeah. Yes. It's my favourite whiskey. So kind of like a, a cinnamon liqueur. Effect. Sorry, I don't. I don't mean it funny, but it's it's a liqueur. It's, it is whiskey, but it's it's a liqueur. Um, but yes, it's tasty and it's proper. You know that goes really well with some rum cocktails as well. That nice sort of cinnamon bite. Uh, oh, really? I've never. S I hang on a minute, Trevor Rose. You've always got Smith and Cross. That I'm. So where are you getting your Smith and Cross from? I, th I thought your store, and I know it's Trevor V on, on camera now, but Trevor Rose, I thought your store always had like lots of um, Smith and Cross. I thought it was just like a, a, a go-to easy stock. And what, what's going on? What, what chat have I made? They're talking about flipping bras now. What? Claire, I'd need a good bra as well. If in a tr what is going on? What have I missed? What is happening on this live stream? What are you talking about? Brass and dresses. Ross, why are you talking about bras and dresses? Jeff, why did I think you were Australia? 4.30pm. I don't know why I thought you were Australia. I don't know why I thought that. He's got buzz now. He's not paying. <laughs> for, some, no, for some reason, I just thought, I thought you were Australia. I don't know why. I've got to shut up now. Uh, got the buzz, innit? Got the buzz. Damn it! You remind me of favourite saying I have when I'm doing training. I can teach, I can teach it to you, but you can't. I can't understand it for you. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> yeah, no, honestly, I'm getting really. There's banana in that one, no? I've not put banana in this one. Where the banana? Banana was in this one. I've not put banana in this one. Gold rum, apricot, vanilla, orge, orge, sorry, or orge, uh, 
spice maple. There's no banana in this. I've got massive banana notes going on in here. Did I? No, I didn't. I know I didn't. Did I? I didn't. Did I put banana in here? Instead of... This is going to be funny watching this. No one pointed it out. No one said anything on there. Did I actually put banana liqueur in instead of... The vanilla? I'm going to have to watch this back later now. I can't think. I've got massive banana notes going on now. I'm sure I didn't put banana in. I'm sure I didn't. I don't know. No one, none of, no one said anything, so I'm assuming I didn't. But... Uh, yeah, okay, this time Jack. I'm pirate like Jack Sparrow. Roar. They they flipping do. I've been telling people that all my life. But no one listens. They all, no, they all say bigger is better. And I'm like, no, definitely not. <laughs> oh, the, the chat's getting, the people are dropping off now. That is, that is very true. That is very true. Oh, look, we're all, see, we're all, oh, the, all the legends, we're all, we're all, we've all taken this stream down, downhill now. Mummy Barman's watching. We can't be talking about things like this. <laughs> question. Oh, I thought she got a question. Look, done properly. Look out. Who's this? Question. Do short people get drunk quicker than tall people? Um, I don't know. Not, not our Claire. Our Claire's hardcore. Our Claire was doing, did a twelve-hour drinking binge last night. We don't discriminate on what spirits are in Texas. We like them all. Okay, but is it not like um? Oh, Jackster, Jackster, Jackie, Jackster's in the old. Oh, hang on, Jackster's on the old Amazon primed it up. Oh, it's on. It's in stock on Amazon. When did that happen? Thir thirty-eight. Ooh, thirty-eight. Trevor, the two Trevors, thirty-eight pounds. Well, you'd have seen that. You're because you've got your Discord open. But thirty-eight pounds on the old on the old uh, the old Discord. Is that a decent price or not? I I don't think that's a decent price personally. I know it's stronger, but thirty-eight pounds. I think that's a bit ATT. But we shall see. Takes crude oil. <laughs> yeah, but see, what is it about Smith and Cross? What is it's like the most well known kind of pot still Jamaican rum. It's it's like whenever whenever you talk about pot still Jamaican rum to anyone, like in the rum world, it's always oh Smith and Cross. And yet no one can get it. Like, what's going on? I don't understand. Uh, Scotch whiskey, I flipping hate. I, because the way Scotch whiskey is um, made, produced, distilled, the peat, I don't do peat, I don't do smoky stuff, um, especially when you get into Islay and the, the sort of islands out there. I can just about handle Highland whiskies, Space Sides, just about. They're not my favourite, but I can just about handle them. Uh, Lowlands, again, you know, just about, but anything kind of remotely peaty, smoky, I, I, they, I, they just don't sit well with me. I just don't like them. American whiskey, bourbon, rice, yes, I can quite get into that, especially because a lot of the rums, obviously, are aged in whiskey barrels. So you get a lot of whiskey notes off a lot of these rums. Um, but that's very different, you know. If you're new to spirits, Bourbon, American, let's just call it American, and I'm grouping Canadian whiskey and Irish. Whiskey that's not Scotch, that'll be easier. <laughs> so, Scotch whiskey is very, very different to all other whiskies. Scotch whiskey is completely different to Irish whiskey. It's completely different to American, Canadian, uh, bourbon, rye. It's just a completely different beast. And I don't mind, it's not my favourite thing in the world, but I don't like American, I, I don't mind American whiskies. Uh, and I can quite happily drink. I've got a few of them here. Um, I could quite happily drink a couple of them. Um, they're not rum for me. I don't like. Oh, I don't. They don't go. Oh, that's lovely going down. I can handle them, but Scotch whiskey, no. I just do not like Scotch whiskey. And that Scot. When we talk about Scotch, we mean blended and malt. All Scot. All Scottish. All whiskey from Scotland is Scotch. It's just whether it's blended or malt whiskey. That's all. So yeah, it just doesn't do it for me. 
<laughs> yeah, it might be that. <laughs> I haven't watched. I'm, I'm really sorry. I haven't watched YouTube videos for flipping ages. I I'm not a YouTube watcher, if that makes sense. I put content out, but I just don't watch YouTube. It's, I'm a podcast. I'm an audio kind of guy. So don't really watch. Sorry, sorry, other YouTube channels, but I don't really have time to or sit down and watch them. To be honest. Uh, blooper clip. I think. Yeah. Hang on, right, maybe maybe I've got Buzz too. No, that's Jamaican rum you used. Where the banana and not Yeah, see I I don't think I use banana, but I've got I've got and I only use like 10, 15 mil of apples in. Now there's like massive banana notes coming off that. Almost to the point where I'm kind of doubting whether I did use banana liqueur. Trevor Rose. He's he's taking a mick now. Look, Trevor Rose. El Dorado is so cheap here. I use it for decoration. <laughs> Flip it up. <laughs> you, you. What you uh, look, uh, um, remind us how much you pay for El Dorado twelve year. We pay anywhere between sort of thirty five ish, thirty five pounds ish. I think he pays less than that in dollars. So half that will be UK. So I think, I think, what do you pay? I think Trevor pays something like $25 or something stupid. Canadian dollars, I think. I'll have to catch up with the comments. But uh, no, she's flipping not allowed to come out to play next Monday. <laughs> oh. She's only allowed out like once every sort of two or three months. Uh, Smith and Cross, 58 Canadian dollars here. Ross in Charlton. Hello. Or oh, is that Sarah or Sarah? How do we say that? Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Get her in the Discord as well. She needs some banter. So, see, I always want to say Sarah. Is it Sarah or Sarah? Hello, Sarah, Sarah. Uh, so, oh, question. I like this. Follow-up question. So, Coca Carnet. Right, Kalani is not right. So, coconut rums, coconut rums, Coca Canoe, Aluna, or Dead Man's Fingers. Both of those are better than Dead Man's Fingers. Right, coconut rum. Coconut liqueur, as in better than Malibu, is Kalani better than Malibu. So, that's a coconut liqueur, even though they're rum based, coconut liqueur, and Takamaka which is fr uh, Seychelles. Rum-based, but they are liqueurs. Okay, so 20, 25% and 30%. So, But my go-to would be Kalani for a liqueur. Sweeter, basically sweeter. Less rum-forward, sweeter. I love Takamaka as well, but this stuff is just like dipping a straw in a coconut. It is amazing. So we like, we like a lot of Kalani. There we go, on screen. Kalani is awesome. But it's not coconut rum, it's a liqueur, all right? Which basically means if you're using it in cocktails, you need more rum to pep it up, to make it, to get the full effect of the rum goodness. Coming through there. Need longer straws. Uh, oh, look at Nick. Nick's in the chat. Hello, Sarah. Nick, stop flirting with Sarah. Stop flirting. <laughs> Smith and Cross can be found in the Shangri La. <laughs> what? Uh, do you mean up the shard? The Shangri La up the shard? That's in nuts. Look, twenty-five Canadian dollars. What's that? Just, just do, just. I'll do it very, very quickly. I know he's probably put it in the comments already, but I'm miles behind in the comments. Twenty-six. I oh, know. I'm only a couple of minutes behind. Right. Hang on. Canadian dollars. What's he saying? Thirty regular Canadian dollars. Seventeen pounds. Re so even at regular price, at thirty Canadian dollars is seventeen pounds. We pay double that. Double. Flipping double. It's like more than double. I, I reckon. Hang on. Bearing in mind this will be trade price. Uh, Mum. I only have to put a minute, it comes up Master and Mulch straight away. El Dorado. Oops, delete, delete, delete. 
L. I'm, I'm going to give you discounted Steve the Barman's special discounted. Steve the Barman's special discounted rate is uh, is twenty. Uh, hang on, I've got to do that with plus VAT. So twenty six pounds plus twenty six pound twenty plus VAT. So and the old and the old uh, doodars twenty six pound twenty one times one point two. So thirty one pound forty five pence is Steve the Barman's special mates rates trade price. So trade price trade price minus affiliate discount. That's nuts. It's like less than half. That is just stupid. Stupid money. Yes, no, H. Oh, hello. We got we got a newbie. We got another newbie. We got another newbie. Well, I've seen him before, but uh, stumbled across your channel in the week. Loving. Oh, I've not seen you before. Perhaps I did. Perhaps you commented. Is that where you're coming? Richard Cresswell. Spiced rum lover. All right, my lover. Yes. Yes, RDA. You will not dis be disappointed. Is the Shangri is the Shangri La not up the shard? Is it not level fifty four in the shard? I thought that's what you're talking about. What's it called? I'm sure it's the Shangri La, isn't it? At the shard? Claire or no? Someone or no? I've caught up with the chat. I've caught up. Oh, right. So RDA, your first daiquiri. Because I know you're a spiced rum fan, but your first daiquiri needs to be a coconut daiquiri, coconut rum. Because that will blow your little eyes go like that. So coconut rum, they're going to be a bit sweeter than rum anyway, naturally. But do a two one half with Coco Canoe. Ross will hook you up with, um, if he's not already, with uh, links to um, discounts because Ross just finds weird, wonderful discounts. Um a double measure, double bubble of Coca Canoe, one measure of lime juice, half a measure of um, sugar. Eat your little eyes. Take a little photo, take a little video of you trying it and then send it to me. Like, because it'll be like, wow. Coconut daiquiri, they're just fun. If any of you watched my the live, the drink stuff live stream on uh, Friday, uh, after the Porn Star Martini Challenge, I had just, <coughs> so it's Paul, the, the GM of um oh sorry the gm the md of um drink stuff was on yeah one of his favorite cocktails the strawberry daiquiri but he also loves coconut rum so i did him a strawberry daiquiri after the porn star martini challenge and then i did him a coconut and strawberry daiquiri properly so the, the strawberry was replacing the sugar so it's not really really sweet but it was just strawberry yeah. his little eyes watch the reaction his little eyes just went wow that is amazing coconut daiquiris coconut and strawberry daiquiris are amazing Really, really good. Yes, Jackie, the Kalani is all awesome. honestly that is dangerous. Just dip a straw in a Kalani. Really, really good. Eighteen pounds bargain. I bet. I bet Ross will find it for fourteen pounds for you. <laughs> I don't know how Ross does it. It's like every day he comes in our little Discord community. It's like yeah, deals, deals, deals. Boom. Yeah, buy this. <laughs> what, Claire? Claire doesn't go out, out, you liar. You've, you've been out, out all weekend. Oh, look out, Mark's back. Yeah, see, look, see, I bet he's found that off Ross, isn't he? 14 pound. Thanks for, thanks for joining us again, rejoining us, Mark. Oh, I've lost the numbers are dwindling now, look. Everyone, people are hating the banter. Sorry. Speaking of Dax, do the split run base plantation three and e Oh, okay. I've got one more lime here. Why not? Watch, watch. How long ago was this? Twelve. Oh, only a couple of minutes ago. Trevor, uh, what sugar? What sugar am I using? Am I using uh, brown? Am I using white? What sugar am I using? I'll show RDA how to make a daiquiri. Then twenty-five Ross. Ross, I tell you what, I, I know you talked to so Ross. Your mission for this week is to find Smith and Cross on offer. That's your mission, <laughs> right? RDA, uh, twenty-five mil lime, fifty mil. I would go fifteen, fifteen mil of sugar syrup. RDA, so 50, fifty mil. The first two bang on twenty-five lime, fifty mil of Coca Canu. I would go fifteen mil of sugar because that is sweeter anyway coca canoe oh look i did that right look 
Oh, look at that. It looks like I'm holding it. Uh, Coco Canoe is, is, is Swedish coconut rub. So 15 ml of sugar. And you can always add more sugar. If it doesn't taste right, if it's a bit too, oh, it's the sugar. So you can just up the sugar. All right. Claire, don't give me that. Where, where's, where's Sarah? Sarah, Sarah, Sarah gone. Where's, where's she gone? I bet she's got some stories to tell about you. Uh, what? I've been emptying the kids' bait. Where have the kids gone? Have you sold them? What have you done with the kids? Don't worry. Sam, Sam and James, if you're still awake, you won't be. You'll be in bed. But don't worry. The parents don't sell kids until you get like 16, 18 year old. So you've got a few years before your mum and dad sell you. If you're still in bed. I'm assuming you're in bed by now. But uh, Pub in the garden. Mark. Okay, right. Uh, and one dash. Oh, hang on. Did I risk? What? Plain, simple, white. Okay, I saw it there. Right, right, right. Okay, so. So, he wants to do... What am I doing? I've forgotten what we're doing now. Oh, ED3. And is that what we're doing? Is that what we're doing? What are we doing? Where did it go? Where did it go? Trevor, there it is. Split base, plants. Yeah, ED3. Right, okay. So, and... Right, hide, hide that. So, this is for... Hide, yeah. This is for young Trevor pineapple and star anise bitters in a Nicanora glass uh, with a lime and some I'm going to use so I use cane cane sugar or gum here you go here you go Trevor let's get all scientific cane or gum what are we using and everyone else will be like what's the difference <laughs> I'm going to use cane syrup so quite like that I do look quite like that. Right, where where do we have? I've got to keep the chat up here. Oh, we didn't go there. Someone said something about Prince Andrew. We didn't go there. <laughs> oh, now my chat now my chat's crashed. You've killed you've killed the chat on my screen because you've mentioned Prince Andrew. Oh, see. Sarah, Sarah, you need to slide into my DMs to give me some stories. <laughs> uh, right, RDA, they love rum in the Lake District. It's really popular. I was in the pub in Alveston. Oh, I like Alveston. Uh, I said there is becoming really popular and they had DMF. Yeah, that's fine. Amber, Amber's still with us. Hey, Amber. Oh, Amber, Amber, I promise you, right, if you trust me for just one thing, is do that. If, if, if you don't believe anything else I say, in, for, for the rest of your life, just believe this one thing, because that is the truth. Coca Canu smashes DMF. Like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Gum. Uh, see, I'm going, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm like five minutes ahead of you now. Right, I've seen it. Right, Rachel, boys are in, boy, boys are in bed. What are they doing in bed? We're still on. They haven't got to school until like nine o'clock in the morning. How much they're getting paid. <laughs> What's this? Uh, we are going to be... Oh, are we now? Promises, promises. Right. So, RDA. This is how we do the old daiquiri. Trevor wants me to do a split base. Uh, I know. We'll save, I was going to do the Veritas at the same time. But we'll save the Veritas for next week. That could be a little... Oh, the week after. Two weeks time. Veritas, we could work up to the Veritas. So, um... Hang on, let me just get rid of this stuff. Right. Dush, dush, dush. So, uh, splitty basey. Let's just rinse the glass. There we go. One, two. Nice little rinse of pineapple and star anise. Can we zoom in? I couldn't zoom in on Friday. It was really annoying me. The zoom locked for some reason. But there we go. Pineapple and star anise bitters. So we've got that in there. We're doing a split base. So we've got a bit of uh, Guyanan uh, sort of Demerara rum. Uh, yeah, let's use this then. So 25 mil. I'm going UK 25s. Sorry, I know you're 30s, but we're going 25s. So we're going for Demerara. 
we're going for a mix of uh, Plantation Three Stars, Barbados, Jamaica, and I can never remember Trinidad. There we go. See, this is why this is what really confuses me. I always think, I always think the OD is Trinidad, and it's not. It's the it's the three stars. And I don't know why. I don't know why I think that. So, twenty five mil of the three stars. Uh, God, the um. The uh, pineapple, this pineapple star in East Notes. I love those bitters. Love those bitters. Right. Uh, so 25 mil of freshly squeezed lime juice. So that will be. Oh, oh, saved it before it went mouldy underneath the um, underneath the bar. Yeah, just just about gone. We can squeeze another couple of mil. Oh, close. There we go. So RDA, I'm doing a two one half ish, fifteen mil. Two fifteen mil is half ish, give or take. So I've done a double boat, double measure of rum. I've done twenty five mil of lime juice, and now I'm going to do fifteen mil of uh, sugar. I've got cane. Cane. Don't worry too much about um, different sugars. There's, there's sugar syrup. There's gom syrup. Uh, Monon have just released cane sugar syrup. They do all taste different. Scarily, but you don't need to worry about that. Should for now, sugar, sugar. All right, don't don't concern yourself with different sugars and goms and what the difference is between gom and sugar. We, we can we could talk about that months from now. We, you don't need to worry. Oh, I put all the ice. I used all the ice, didn't I? Right, ice, ice, ice. A bed a bedtime daiquiri. There we go. That will do. Bed bedtime dax. Right. Damo in China, if you're still watching. We've got to give Dame, Damo, Dame, we've got to give Damo a, a, a shout out. Uh, oh, you damn Brit. <laughs> I'm not Brit, I'm Cornish. Don't insult me. Us Brits and Cornish. Corn, Brits, Corn, us Cornish and not Brits. A little bit for the bar as well. <laughs> right. The suspense is dry so I can have a little lean. I'll tell you what, the aromas. Oh, so good, right. Before I try that. Uh, sugar syrup is cheap. Actually, your gom, your gom sugar should be cheaper than sugar. I don't know why, but gom should always be cheaper than sugar. I have absolutely no idea why, because gom is traditionally better quality, um, and it's also got um, xanthan gum in it, whereas sugar doesn't. But inherently, gom, gom, is, gom is gom is essentially thicker and will give you a much more velvety texture to your cocktails than sugar syrup. A lot of top end cocktail bars will use gom. I do actually prefer to use gom. Um, normally, I don't know whether you've ever noticed, normally I've always got gom here. Even Monin, the, the Monin I have is gom. Um, but I'm just trying this out in the moment. Monin, Monin sent it to me. Okay. I'm not sure I've got an old bottle of Monin. I, I've, got, I've got William Fox's uh, gom here at the moment. Uh, I'm not sure I've got an old Monin. I think I've probably binned them. Yeah, I've got none here, but yeah. So I'm just trying this out. I mean, this is like, um, but this is Mauritian. They, you know, they're getting a bit, getting a bit fancy where they get their sugar from. So this is like, um, this is posher sugar syrup essentially, but cane, like just cane Mauritian sugar. Um, but yeah, so gom is traditionally better. It's what most bars would use, um, but it should also be cheaper. Should also be a lot cheaper. Right, so where do we get to in the comments? Right, uh, RDA, I've seen your question. I'll come to you in a second. Cane, cane, right, that's where I got to. Rachel in bed. We are going, oh, that's where we got to. The, the promises of making our own stories. Right, RDA, right, let's start here. What are the differences in all? <laughs> uh, uh, actually, RDA, tomorrow's video will help you it's already out, isn't it? Yes. 
last, when, what, last Wednesday's video will help you with the differences with the plantations. Okay, so go and watch. I could talk all day about them. Go and watch last Wednesday's video. I know it's titled up about daiquiris, uh, but watch last Wednesday's. That'll explain the differences between those four. That's that's essentially what you mean, all right? Uh, I have down this Plantation XO. Plantation XO, I wouldn't use it in cocktails. It's a cracking sipping rum. Really, really good, but I, I wouldn't use it in cocktails. Uh, so, yeah. So, watch last Wednesday's video. Uh, it's, it's a daiquiri. It was supposed to be all one video, but the first video just got a bit too long because I do, you know, you know me, I'm one for chatting. Uh, so, it was a little bit longer, so I split it into two videos. Um, so yeah, watch that. That will kind of explain the differences between those four. Right, I saw this. So I was making you damn Brit 60, 30, 15. Me, 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 me. <laughs> right, RDA, this is your question. I forgot to ask how much is syrup? What? How much? What? As in price? You could make it yourself. Um, you know, I've done that on the drink stuff. So all this fun stuff, all these questions you're asking are the sort of stuff I now cover on drink stuff, on the drink stuff channel. But so the drink stuff channel, I've been making sugar syrups. I made my own uh, almond or, or how do we say it? Trevor V or or jar or, or zar, or zar syrup, or jar. Uh, made my own honey syrup and all that. Uh, but so make it two parts sugar to one part uh, water if you're making it at home. But if you're going to buy it, Gom is like three, four pounds a bottle. Sugar syrup will be about five, six pounds a bottle, depending on the brand. Uh, I haven't seen the price of this yet, but I've, I've got a funny feeling Monin's cane syrup, cane sugar, will be slightly more expensive. But I don't know. I've not seen it listed yet in price. Right. For someone that wasn't watching in the first place, thanks for staying on. <laughs> right, Trevor, sugar syrup is cheap. Yeah, we answered that. Oh, 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 hello. That, do you know what, right? I cannot decide, Trevor V wrote a Trevor R. Do I need to shake her too? <laughs> I'll see all these, I'll pop these up. Trevor Rose, I cannot, I'm such in a world of trouble now because I cannot decide that's really good. I really, really like Flor de Cana, um, four-year-old. It's a daiquiri. That's a really, really good daiquiri. I, f I flipping absolutely love that Bacardi four-year-old is a daiquiri. And as you'll see, I haven't even... I've had that as a daiquiri many times, but not out of this bottle when I've been out because it's one of those bottles that bars love to rock out. And this has been about a good couple of years now in the UK, obviously pre-COVID, so definitely a good couple of years. Um, as I say, it's Veritas, but it's prohib Prohibitas in the US and Canada. And that just gives it a whole different, a daiquiri, a whole different dimension. And I really, and we're, we're just talking sort of, I know that's quite a kind of breaking tradition, but I'm just talking easy, cheap rums, daiquiris. I th I think I'm pr I'm pretty sure I introduced you to these, didn't I? I I think these little bad boys make any daiquiri, uh, pineapple and star anise. I I think they're stunning bitters, especially with a spritz cap on to rinse the inside of a glass. RDA, you need to get on daiquiris. You need you need they're just so much fun, so much fun. Oh. So much. That's so good. So good. And the best bit is, Mummy Barman doesn't like him. <laughs> oh, no, I don't like that. Right, where do we get to? Do I need a shaker too? Yes, you do. One of those, £1.50. Well, not that one. That's a bit fancier, but uh, I haven't got one here. But a bigger, a bigger one of those, this stainless steel, £1.50. Cocktail shaker for three quid. Jobs are good. Cheaper still, I think the glass ones are even cheaper than the tin ones. So if you get a glass on, so a bigger version, a bigger version of that on that, I think they're even cheaper than tin on tin. So I've got to wash that now, haven't I? Um, but yeah, cocktail shaker, you know, a couple of quid. 
get a cocktail shaker. It'll, it'll, it'll like make your little world. Ross and easy. Oh, I think I did that. Yeah. Yes, I've already answered that. You can buy sugar soup. You can fruits. I don't know what fruits is actually. I've never really looked at fruits to see whether it's um, cane sugar, sugar syrup, or gum. Because a lot of people call it. A lot of brands actually call it syrup de gum, thinking that's what it is, and it's not. Gum has to include uh, xanthan gum. Um, so, sugar, when brands say syrup de gum, a lot of the time it's just plain old sugar syrup. It's not xanthan. There's no um, uh, xanthan gum in it. <laughs> oh really is she trying to take me on oh she'll 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 blow me out of the water won't she she'll get like a 1.2 million views in three hours i but let me guess let me guess what the video is titled irish girl tries paul star martini i bet that's what the video is called i bet you <laughs> irish girl tries porn star martini i bet that's what she's called it Bless her. No, fair play to her. It's good. It's good. It's good fun. I don't know what she was. She was like um, a clothes. What was she before? Before she went down the cocktail rabbit hole. She was like a clothes model or something. Lifestyle blogger. I forget what she was now. But uh, but yes. <laughs> so she took her like two million subscribers straight into cocktails. For, I'm sure she was clothes blogging or, or something. I'm sure that's what she did. Not that I'm jealous or anything. <laughs> it's quite funny though. Irish girl tries this. I bet that's what the video is called. If she hasn't got the wrist action, if it's not come out frothy, I tell you. Right, RDA. If you had one cocktail, oh. Right, here we go. Claire. Here we go, RDA. RDA. See, oh, Claire's still on. Claire. Claire. If RDA was going to impress you, what cocktail would he have to make? Oh, Trevor's just tagged me in something. What's Trevor saying? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Fluffing you it. <laughs> Sorry, Irish girl. I was close. Irish girl makes porn star martini. <laughs> Is that actually what a cocktail looks like? She got this centimetre of froth on there. <laughs> Bless her. It's brilliant. It'll, it'll get like, it'll get more views than my videos got in the space of like three hours because she's got that many subscribers. <laughs> so, yes, Claire. Claire, what cocktail would someone have to make to impress you? There we go. That'll, that'll help RDA out. Uh, uh, Moxie. Uh, I'll do it. I'll pop it in the Discord for you. Um, I, I've got two links for Amazon. One, basically, it's two different types of bottles. We've got... Uh, where's my other bottle? Oh, they're all at the back. Where is it? I've lost it. Oh. They're all back to front because I haven't used them. Where's my other little spritz caps? Have I taken them off? Oh, no, there it is. Idiot. Idiot. So we've got... No. I've taken all the... I've a spritz caps off. Have I done that? When did I do that? I got all confused. No, we haven't. There they are. Look, there's those bottles. Right. So we've got two types of bottles, uh, Moxie. We've got bitters with smaller caps on there, and I've got one size of little spritz caps. And then I've got uh, bottles with slightly fatter, wider things. I've got different spritz caps, but I'll put the, pop the links. And remind me, just pipe up in the chat, Discord, and I'll send you both links. They're so like... Um, they come with the bottles as well, so you get bottles. It's not you can't just buy spritz caps. They come with the little bottles, but the bottle it's like like four five pounds or something for three. So uh, they're a bargain. They just work a treat. So we like that. Uh, Claire just made fifty mil Bacardi for you all, fifty mil pineapple syrup. Oh, shout. oh, Claire, it's Claire. Is that the drink? No, that can't be. I'm behind the chat. I was going to say Claire. Is that the drink that impresses you? RDA wants to know how to impress, impress someone. He's asking for a friend. <laughs> okay, I'll just come out and say, Claire, what cocktail would I have to would I have to make to impress you? There we go. Right. Uh, oh, RDA's asked something else, has he? Yeah. 
when drinking in the house, do you drink rum the, or make your own cocktails? I So if I've got some, I really, really love uh, rum, coconut water, um, and a tiny, tiny bit of sugar syrup or almond. I normally, I don't faff around with cocktails. I just love drinking neat spirits. So I, I'll have like rum in an ice cube in, in one of these. That's what I have. But uh, I don't really go bundle on fizzy drinks anymore because they kind of bloat me up, uh, especially at night. Um, I don't really like fizzy drinks at night, so yeah, I can't. But coconut water, like rum, coconut water, a little bit of t it's like a squeeze of lime, tiny, tiny bit of uh, sugar syrup, and all that. You kind of it's what I was saying to you earlier. Citrus and sugar elevates flavours more. So think when I say add a bit of lime and then add a bit of sugar to balance, and you kind of think, well, why would you add that in the first place? It's the citrus and sugar that really elevates flavours. All right, so kind of you add them anyway. It's like um, dark and stormies and things like that. You know, you add the lime, bit of bitters, maybe a touch of sugar, touch, not much, but just a touch just to bring out all the flavors. Depends on the ginger beer, of course. Fever tree, I would add a tiny bit of sugar to uh, fever tree. Uh, Old Jamaica, I wouldn't add a bit of sugar because they're totally different ginger beers, but it's all that kind of stuff. You have to always remember sugar and citrus elevates flavours. It's why we love daiquiris so much. It just brings out all those magical flavours in a rum. Right, Richard, virtual high five. Honestly, I, I need to get a beer in my bonnet, right? I need, to, I need to go and attack some rum communities, the rum geeks, the rum gurus, because they always slag off Picard. Picardi's got an inherently bad reputation in the UK. It's just like, oh, don't have Picardi, don't have it. They are phenomenal. I love it. I absolutely love those two rums. So I need, I need, I need to go into some uh, rum groups and start bashing people. In the same way I did when like spice drums started to come big and they would like chuck me. I got kicked out of a couple of groups because for as for rum groups for drinking spice drum. Hey ho. Uh through is cane, sugar to cane. Okay, cool. She's on the try channel. What try what what what? What do you mean try channel? Is that not she's what do you mean on her try channel? she got that's her i don't know what we're doing yes it's kane right i don't know what that meant uh trevor v are we going for God, we're getting close to three hours again aren't we rda try this uh that's cool something cherry okay oh rum and arm oh rum and almond oh claire I'm... there we go rda Claire, I can sort that out for you. Oh, like a oh, Claire, I, I'm all over that, Claire. I'm all over that. <laughs> oh, oh. Right. Uh, what a Kevin. I skipped it ahead of Kevin. I'm back. Jump through the Irish video. Absolutely no froth. No froth in the porn star. Oh, that's terrible. I hope you told her that as well. Not that she'll ever. <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> what? I've got to go watch this afterwards. I'm, I'm obviously missing something. Oh, hang on, hang on. I missed that comment. That's what he, Trevor's laughing at. Also, it's a 15-minute video with jump cuts all over the place, although the background was less bland in the drink stuff video. <laughs> hey, look, we had... you. <laughs> Did you see? Did you see me kind of having a few sort of uh, little little swipes at Paul on uh, on Friday on the drink stuff live? We've got shelving units coming now for drink stuff. We've got that there. We've kind of agreed on a little um, mascot, so like a little funny mascot. We've got like a even though drink stuff went with the opposite kind of fun tiki patterns. What I think. We had two tiki, they're not tiki, but two fun patterns made up for drink stuff. One was fun and, but corporate, and one was fun but Steve the Barman. Well, of course, I went for the fun Steve the Barman one. Everyone else went for the fun corporate one. It's still fun, but it's a bit corporate, and it's a bit, oh, do you know what that would be? So I'm going to try and see if they'll commission the other pattern as well, because that is proper. Um, but, yeah, so over the next few, bearing in mind, I am quite... You'll see a big difference from the lives because obviously with the team, with the marketing team now, uh, and drink stuff, you know, they try and, they, they've got a lot to do. So they're trying to, um, what's the word? Schedule, 
excuse me, uh, that's not the word I'm looking for. Well, probably it's pre schedule, whatever the word is, but they're trying to schedule stuff in advance now. So I'm actually two and a half weeks ahead filming for drink stuff. So the video I did filmed on Friday and it's now editing up is already ready, uh, published for the 20th of September. That's how far ahead I am. So you're going to see a big difference uh, between the lives on Friday and the video. It's still going to be probably a month by the time we get done, probably a month out. So the lives will be up to date with the background, whereas the videos will still be white. But, uh, but you know, it will look cool. It's just kind of, you know, it's different. It's not... My channel works dark and because of the spirits on the back there, you know, drink stuff's not really about spirits, so it wouldn't be fair to have like brands and all that in the background. So yeah, you know, I kind of just wanted to see what it was like, but it's a, it's a bit, it's fun, but it's a bit different because here, if you guys came up with an idea and I liked it, it would just happen by the next time I came on live. It would just be like, oh, I'm gonna swap that around. You know, when you're working with others, especially when there's a head of department, a head of marketing that has to get everything signed off by the uh, MD and all this, that and the other. You've got a whole chain and it come, becomes like a whole two-month conversation about what we're doing with the bat bar sort of thing. So, yeah. But it, it'll get there. It'll get there. Uh, she's also on the trial channel. Right, Amber. Oh, Amber, Amber, Amber. Amber, thank you, Amber. Thanks for getting involved tonight. We love, we love every week. We get at least like one newbie that's been watching, been lurking. Even though I don't like that word, it's been lurking in the backgrounds. I love it, Amber. You've come on and chatted tonight. So awesome. We will, we will stay. All of us, we will all stay in contact with you. Just comment and get involved. Uh, been on a journey because of your channel so far. I've tried DMF Havana Three. Oh, Planter. Oh. Right, Amber, so what was your favourite? I don't know how far behind I am in the chat. I'm oh, not far behind, four, like three or four minutes. Amber, out of those, so ignore DMF because that's going to be a sweeter spiced rum anyway, which is good. You know, I, you know me, I don't, I don't mind my DMF. I, but I, I know the difference, you know. So, out of the Havana 3 and the Havana 7 and the Plantation OD, how have you tried them and which one is your favourite? Which one have you enjoyed the most? Why? Have you just tried them with Coke on their own, with ginger beer, in cocktails? How have you tried them? Which one was your favourite? And then there, we can kind of guide you from there. All right. Uh, jump cuts. Hey, look. Right, but this is the weird thing, right? You, you're, right, you're giving me banter like jump cuts, right? People... This is a weird thing. As a video creator, I have to be doing the jump cuts because so jump cuts is when I literally um, I can't just like stop and have like a couple of minutes of reflection or a couple of seconds of reflection before going into it in a, in a video. People just go. It's like this is this weird thing. This is why and other YouTubers will come. We've all chatted about this in the bartender. Like I haven't really been active, but in there, but months ago we were chatting about this in the bartender Discord channel. You know, I would lose I would lose viewers and dramatically lose viewers every time I made a cocktail and did this. Literally, that process, I would lose about seven or eight percent of my viewers. And you can see it because YouTube gives you all that data. You know, YouTube will show you a whole video, the back office, the analytics, it will show you the whole video, it will give you the graph and it will show you where viewers drop off. And you can relate that drop off to exactly the point in the video. And every time I did this, so basically if I was doing five cocktails with uh, like a certain spirit, every time I did this, so after cocktail one, I would have lost at least 5%, but traditionally like six, seven, eight percent of my audience. So by the time we get to cocktail three, it's gone. So you kind of have to do those jump cuts just to keep the, you know, the chat, the conversation. You kind of have to do, and half the time with me, it's not jump cuts. What you'll see is actually me in a flow, but um, instead of, say, if I have, I don't know, a 30 second dialogue, what you'll actually see is every 10 seconds, the screen change. So I'll either be zoomed in or zoomed out. You know, they're not jump cuts, they're just different angles. Uh, the jump cuts will come at an end of a scene. You'll see me kind of, 
do that and then it'll go straight into the next thing. You have to do it to get retention because the way YouTube pushes videos is about retention. So if you're doing this every two minutes, sipping a cocktail and you leave, Carl, me and Carl from Alchemix Bar chatted about this a load and he noticed exactly the same thing. Every time he had a sip of cocktail, he would just lose viewers and it's like this weird thing. So yeah, like me, I've just lost 15, 15, I've literally lost 15 people in the last four minutes up there because I'm drinking cocktails. It's the weirdest thing, I'll tell you. So yeah, you can give me bad all you like about that, Trevor V, but it's something we have to do. Uh, pouring effects. I'm going to have to go and watch this here. You, no, for us. Sorry, you've probably all seen this. Rubicon is a staple. Did she not? Did she use Rubicon? She better have used Rubicon. If she's re, if if she's used Rubicon, she's she's used my recipe, because I'm the only flipping person that does that. No one else uses that. That would be my claim to fame. Ah, oh, okay. I've now said it. Ah, oh, disappointing. Disappointing. Boo, boo, Kara, Kara. It's Kara. Kara, Kara. What's her name? I don't know. Rubicon is a staple. Right, Steve, Steve Taylor, Tyler, Taylor, Taylor. Made bake or daiquiri. So hurt. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. With the cherry. Oh, so hang on. With the um, the cherry, Steve. Oh, wrong way around. With the cherry, you made a bake or with that one. Had to be. Oh. Claire. I've, I've got you. I've, I'm going to hook you up, Claire. Don't you worry. I'm going to hook you up. Trevor's answered that. Mark S H. Mark Smith Howe. I call him Mark S H. Mark Smith Howe has just WhatsApp me. saying he's on Discord. Uh, but his, his Discord plays up for him. I think that's an excuse, Mark. Personally. <laughs> Hey, here's another Mark. Mark, slamming vinyl. I, I miss your slamming vinyl now that you're on YouTube and not on Facebook. <laughs> Good to see you, mate. Sorry, I didn't know you were on. Uh, Amber. Plantation, yeah, there's some good shouts there. Honestly, yeah, so Amber, if you've tried, I would 100% agree with um, Trevor there. But I will say one thing: if you if you liked the Plantation OD, that one, I would I wouldn't worry about the Eldorado three at the minute. I would just go straight for the three stars. If you if you liked that, they're not similar. But if if you did like that, it's something that Plantation do very very well. That you you get a similar vibe off all of their rumps. They are very very different tasting, but you get a very similar vibe. You'll you'll understand it once you get a bit further in. So if you did like the Plantation OD. That would, I mean, I love the Eldorado three-year-old, don't get me wrong, absolutely love it. Um, but I would kind of go for that first, me personally. Uh, Kevin's get some rock stars, yeah. I'll look out, get some Jamaican. <laughs> Amber, just get everything. <laughs> Amber, what have you done? <laughs> oh, look, we're getting towards 11 o'clock, that's why people are just dropping off, they're dropping like flies now. Uh, Amber, oh, there she, she's answered the question. Uh, both Havana, neat with Coke, plantation, I drink neat. Yeah, see, I reckon three stars, Amber, there you go. They're all watching the Irish porn stars. Is that what they're doing? They're all watching Cara. What's the name? Is it? It's not, I call it Cara. I'm sure it's Ki. 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 How do you say now? I've always called it Cara. It's not Cara, though, is it? Uh, if you're drinking like these, neat, da, 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 Steve Taylor, to Cherry Rockstar, yes. On, honestly, no, you're not. RDA, you're not. Just, you know, I, I talk a good game. <laughs> now, the thing is, right, I've, I've loved rum for many, many years. But I'm one of those people that is just open to the fact that I love spiced rum. I do really love spice rum. I love rum as well. I've never hid the fact that I've uh, I love rum, but I've never hid the fact that I love spiced and flavoured rums. You know, I love fun, fun drinks, and that's what rum is. The point is with spiced rums. I actually went. I kind of went vice versa. My entry point was rum, 
and I went down very at an early age, sort of like 18, 19, 20. I obviously started off with Captain Morgan's, but I went down this rabbit hole first. Yes, Sailor Jerry was absolutely loved, but by the age of sort of 21, 22, you know, I was having stuff like Angostura 19, 19, El Dorado 12 year old behind my bar. I had a brand, I had a pouring deal with a brand called Los Valientes. I'm not even sure if they're a thing anymore. Uh, but I knew the UK ambassador for that and Los Valiantes, they had three, and they were stonking rums, awesome rums. But it then got a bit too pretentious and then this spiced rum started coming out to play a bit more. Uh, Sailor Jerry started to get more and more. Old Sailor Jerry, not new Sailor Jerry. You know, old Sailor Jerry was just kind of immense. It was just this massive worldwide phenomenon, well, UK phenomenon. But it was just this amazing thing. And then they changed the recipe in 2009, 2010. Uh, 2009, they changed the recipe. Uh, and then, you know, that opened the gateways for spiced rum. Because Sp Sailor Jerry and Kraken had the market nailed up until that point. Captain Morgan, yeah. But, you know, it was Sailor Jerry. You know, it was back in the days, so you have to think, when you go to a pub, right? People will say vodka and coke or Bacardi and coke or a gin and tonic. You know, people wouldn't do bar calls, essentially, like in the late 90s, 2000s, early 2000s. It was very vodka and coke, gin and tonic, whiskey and coke. Um, and then you kind of turn around your next question, if it was a whiskey, oh, what brand do you want? And then they turn around and say, oh, have you got Bells or have you got Famous Grouse? You know, that was the market. However, Sailor Jerry was one of the very first bar calls, except for Bacardi. People are coming. Sailor Jerry and Coke, please. Sailor Jerry and ginger beer. Sailor Jerry and Coke. So Sailor Jerry started all this, but you have to remember that wasn't until the mid 2000s. So my rum journey actually started with real rum. But because of the fun, I got into spiced rums. So you're not, you know, you're not starting out in that sense. You're kind of just in the middle of your journey. And that's cool. We all start somewhere. We all love different things, and that's the beauty of rum. Half of these rums here, I, my palate has changed massively. Like, a couple of years ago, what, five, so I think it's five years ago, six, seven years ago, I wouldn't have touched an agricole if you paid me. I could not stand agricole rums. Now, I my palate's changed. I appreciate the flavours that they add. They're really, really good. They, not to drink neat, but they add brilliant complexities to cocktails. Um, so yeah, you've just got, you know, you've just got to start that rum journey. Don't go crazy. Don't, you know, don't do what I do and just, you know, get like 40 different rums in that. Start off, start with the categories, use the videos that I've put out and think, okay, I'll try this one this month and this one next month. Uh, and then go from there. Just start your rum journey. You don't have to go and spend a fortune. And the beautiful thing is, rum is a damn sight cheaper than whiskey. And the even more beautiful thing is, rum, people look at, this is the pe pe thing that people don't get, you know, whiskey to rum. People will look at a whiskey and see it's like 18 years aged, right? 18 years, that's cool. Rum that's been aged eight years, Tropical aging will have taken on the characteristics of an 18, 20, 25 year old whiskey. Because of tropical aging, everything speeds up, everything is more enhanced because it's warmer, more humid, you get you extract the flavours quicker. So roughly speaking, an eight, a seven, eight, ten year old rum will have the characteristics of a 18, 20 year old whiskey. Give or take. Some people even think it's a um a third. So some times it by three. Some people even think like a, a five-year-old rum would be the equivalent of a 15-year-old whiskey, depending on the country. Um, so yeah, that's the beautiful thing. Just start, go on your little journey and see where it takes you. And if you stick at spiced rums, that's cool. There are so many awesome spiced rums out there. There's some terrible spiced rums, but there's some awesome ones as well. So, little rant. Uh, we're getting close to 11 o'clock. I'm going to call it a day at 11, so I've got six minutes. Uh, we are all amateurs. Kevin, except Trevor, too. <laughs> Bants. <gasps> Steve, whoa, really? Steve, have a look at the price that that's going for. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. And hundreds. Uh, RDA, I have really struggled to drink neat, but better quality rum. The bear. 
yeah that's what it is you get you get terrible rums and you get say the jerry now is a big example of this say say the jerry now you drink neat and there's um yes you do get a little bit of vanilla a little bit of lime but you get this massive alcohol burn afterwards and that is reminiscent of some of the cheaper rums however when you go up to and that's what 20 i don't even know what the price of that is now but 20 quid maybe the, the bacardi four-year-old even just a step and that is probably ignoring like the bacardi and the wrong coupes and that that is probably the worst quality rum i have behind the bar or the least quality rum is that the right way of saying it i don't know what i'm saying now but that's probably the lowest lowest quality there we go after those that is phenomenal that is really 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 good yeah really good so you don't have to pay that much to get a decent better rum uh, yes rum is the new gin no gin rum, rum's always been rum it's just that gin kind of was like a pretender to the throne for a couple of years and then it very quickly went on to flavored gin which is not gin <laughs> uh how close how close does the new... I would say, I, it's really hard. My palate's changed massively. I I do believe that back in 2013, yeah, when Old J got released, back then, I seem to remember, because I had Old J at the same time, I seem to remember it being very, very, very close. Now in my head... I, I don't like old Jay now. My palate has changed. I really don't like old Jay. It, it's too sweet for me. So I don't know. I don't know whether old Jay has changed or whether it's my palate that's changed or whether both. I, I don't know. But when it got launched, because Hursty, Rockstar, Two Swallows, Hursty was behind old Jay. It was him. So that's kind of, where is that? But he, he's, you know, he's not been involved in that for, where are we, six, seven years, give or take. I've lost track of time now. But yeah, he's, so he's not been involved. So whether the recipe's changed or whether my palate has dramatically changed to the point that I don't like it, I just don't like it now. It's too sweet for me. So yeah, it was. Whether it is now or not, I don't know. But bearing in mind, people have got the the old sailor jerry you know that is going to it depends how it's been kept as well if it's been kept in a light room you know the the flavor is going to have changed a little bit anyway uh so yeah right i've got three minutes so i'm going to try and whiz through these comments i'm going to cap it at 11 o'clock a three hour live show these used to be like 90 minutes at the most and now they're like three hours now we talk about rum uh ron's cap and neat but i'm eyeing this up bars ron's cap is great xo yeah centenario they're great great rums uh, bottle of homes, yeah. Du, 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 du. Yeah, no, it's fine. Uh, spiced, oh, rums, love, really. Uh, backyard barbecue. My Sunday fun day with stream, take care. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm off now. I'm, I'm going, Trevor, I'm going. So thanks for watching, mate, as well. No, 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 I'll pan it. No, so I don't know how old you are, to be fair. I really don't. I really don't. Like 10 years ago, I was, I really, really loved sweet drinks. Now, I've still got a little bit of a sweet tooth when it comes to food, but sweet tooth when it comes to drinks, no. Um, I, I love a little bit of sweetness, but not not much. So yeah, your palate change, you know, it's that thing when you're a kid, you don't like broccoli or cabbage or carrots or something. And then all of a sudden, when you get into your teens or early 20s, you're kind of like, oh, I don't mind broccoli, I don't mind cabbage, you know, especially when it's cooked differently. So it's that kind of thing. Um, it's not nothing to do with stronger drinks. It's just essentially different flavor. Your palate, your receptors take on different, um, different kind of thing, different tastes, different profiles. Uh, and that's it. It'll change for everyone. Every single person it'll change as you get older. My T my my monitor, no, don't turn off. Is well press OK to keep watching. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Right. Um Right, I'm gonna skip through a few of these comments here. Night Pat, uh 
Ross is saying, don't have to spend a fortune on rum. When you do, it's always worth it. Yeah. Buy my taste test. See, I'm getting tired now. Uh, three hours isn't long enough discussing rum. Perhaps I should start these at seven o'clock. <laughs> uh, no, Nick, we're not on. So just to finish off, uh, we are not on next week. Me and the banterous lot, we are down in London. Now, if there's some way I could do it live, I don't think I could, but I, I don't know. I don't know. There's potential. I don't know. Um, but no, as it stands, there is no live, there's definitely no live show from the studio next week. We are all down in London. It's in Bibe, uh, the UK bar show, uh, Monday and Tuesday next week. My membership community is a few of us. Uh, we're all getting together. We're down in London. There's even more joining us on Monday. So we're going to have a, a nice quality night out on Monday. Uh, but there's a little select group on Sunday night as well. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, no live show. Uh, but Friday, there will be a live show, Drink Stuff live show, Drink Stuff in the afternoon uh, on my other channel. Uh, and then Drink Stuff again will be next fr the Friday after, and then I'll be back a week on Sunday. Uh, but I might, um, if, if we can, it might be funny banter just to go live for like, I don't know how I do it. I don't know how I do it from my phone. I don't know, it'd be kind of weird because I wouldn't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. We, we should say, there's definitely no studio live next Sunday, but whether something else happens or not, I don't know. Might be might be fun and giggles, we shall see. Uh, but no, as it stands, no live show. Claire, thank you. Uh, looking forward to meeting you next Sunday. Uh, uh, Kevin, I'm looking to, Legends, I'm looking forward to meeting all of you. We've never met, even though we chat, we're all great mates, we've never met face to face in person. So next Sunday night, next Monday, is gonna be awesome for my membership community. Looking forward to meeting a lot of you. Uh, that is gonna be brilliant, brilliant, brilliant fun. So uh, yes, we shall see that. Instagram, just doing Instagram live. Yeah, but you know, my community's on uh, YouTube. I, I could do it, I could go, I could do it, I could do a YouTube live from here, it's just, is it the same thing holding it? Oh, how are you doing? You know, just sitting in a random bar somewhere. It's not kind of. So yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, if I could do an Instagram live, I could do a YouTube live. But it's just not going to be the setting, is it? So cool. Countdown: Ross, Claire, uh, Kevin, Rachel, uh, Mark, who's not on anymore. Uh, who else is meeting us next? Sunday, I don't know. All of you, I'm looking for legends. Uh, any of you that are not legends who want even closer access to me, come and join. Come and come and buy my stuff. Five pounds, five measly pounds a month, uh, and you can come and join the Discord. Get involved. Uh, failing that, I'll see you two weeks on Sunday, right here, or Friday on Drink Stuff Live. All right. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you really, really soon. Toodaloo. So when, so when